mail. Really, Mom? For me? It has your name on it. Wow. What is it? There's only one way to find out. Hmm. Open it. <gasps> what does it say? It says, guess who's invited to Mrs. Jenkins' kindergarten class at Hilltop School. <laughs> Me! I'm invited! Can I go, Mom? Yes, Timothy. It's time to go to school. Right now? <laughs> Tomorrow, after one more sleep. Wow! Uh-uh. No good. Nope. Timothy, what are you doing? I'm looking for something to wear on my first day of school. No good. Nope. Uh-uh. No good. Nope. Nope. No good. Hmm. Need something special? Yeah. How about these? Wow. I made them for you. Perfect. Thanks, Mom. Brand new notebook? Brand new pencils and brand new clothes. And tomorrow is a brand new day. You better get to bed. You don't want to sleep through your first day of school. <laughs> night, Mom. Night, Dad. Good, Good night, night, Timothy. Timothy. Is it tomorrow yet? Timothy. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to be like. I can hardly wait. Watching out the window won't make the bus come any faster, Timothy. It's here! It's here! Bye, Timothy. Bye, Dad. Bye, son. <laughs> hooray! Hooray! <gasps> Mom! What's the matter, Timothy? I won't know anybody. Sure you will. Doris will be on the bus. Doris? Have a great day. Hi, Timothy. I'm Henry. All aboard for Hilltop School. Hi, Henry. Hey, Timothy. Come sit with me. 
Hi, Doris. Hello. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Hilltop School. Hello. We're going to have such fun. Wow. Wow. Great. All right. Wow. My name is Mrs. Jenkins, and I'm your teacher. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I think the best way to get to know each other is to play my special song. Hurry, scurry, children. Circle, triangle, square. Find a shape to sit on. you'll be the best of friends. Pencils, Yoko. Thanks. You can borrow them if you like. I have new pencils, too. We can all share. How very precise. Well done, Claude. I'm going to draw Hilltop School, too. You know, Timothy, nobody wears overalls on the first day of school. Brush, dear? Yeah. Do you want a story? No. 
Timothy, is there something bothering you? <sighs> Nobody wears overalls on the first day of school, Mom. Oh, honey, you can wear whatever you want to. How about your new jacket for tomorrow? Perfect! Just like Claude! You look nice. Want to play? Thanks. Where's Claude? <laughs> hey, Claude, wait up! Hey, Claude! <laughs> Hi, guys! <sighs> Timothy, nobody wears party clothes on the second day of school. How was school today? I'm never going back. Ugh. Why not? Nobody wears party clothes on the second day of school. Oh, we can fix that. Tomorrow you can wear something in between, just like everyone else. Hi, Charles. Hi, Yoko. How do you like my lucky shirt? Hmm, I think I've seen it someplace before. <gasps> wow, you're wearing the same shirt I am. No, you're wearing the same shirt I am. Yoko, look out! I got it, I got it! Ugh. No, I got it! Great catch, Claude! Throw it to me! No, to me! Are you all right? That Claude, he's such a show-off! And he thinks he knows everything! Yeah. Want to come over to my house after school? Sure. Do you want to play tag? Okay. You're it. Wake up, my little cherry blossom. It's a brand new day. Good morning, Mama. What shall I do today? All my favorite things! And what shall I wear today? All my favorite clothes! And where shall I go today? All my favorite places! And who shall I see today? All my favorite friends! Hi, Yoko! I saved you a seat! Thanks, Timothy. Have a wonderful day at school, my little cherry blossom. I will, Mama. Do not forget your lunch. What did you make me? All your favorite foods. Thanks, Mama. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Yoko.
Good morning, everyone. Hello, Fritz. Hello. Hello, Charles. Hello. Hello, Nora. Hi. Hello, Lily. Good morning. How lovely to see all of you today. Hello, Mrs. J. <laughs> Hello, Timothy. Good morning, Mrs. Jenkins. Good morning, Yoko. <laughs> Hello, Doris, Claude, and Grace. Hello, Mrs. That's it, children. <laughs> Hurry into class. Me before you. Me before Frank you. Frank and Frank. Class won't be the same without you. Coming, Mrs. J. <laughs> it's my card. I told you, it's my card. Lunch boxes out and open, please, boys and girls. It's time for lunch. Yay! <laughs> hey, Timothy, I saved you a seat. Oh, thanks, Yoko. to trade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to. Who wants half? Um, I do, please, because I forgot my liverwurst. Not me. I have squeeze cheese. Bread and beans. I've got Swiss cheese on fries. Who would like to trade with me? Who wants egg salad? Nora, I'll trade you my cream cheese and jelly for your peanut butter and honey. Yeah! Hey, Timothy, look what I have. Oh, boy, peanut butter and honey. My favorite. Trade you. Sure. Mmm, mmm. Double trade egg salad. My favorite. <coughs> to trade with me, Timothy. I don't understand. Mama made all my favorite food. The trouble with your favorite food is that it's no one else's favorite. But nothing beats sushi. There's a tasty treasure inside every piece. <laughs> Ick! It's green! It's seaweed! Oh no! Please do not tell me that it's raw fish. Watch out, it's moving. Yakko, Mama! Why can't your mother make you something normal? Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. That was the best peanut butter and honey sandwich I ever tasted. Time for recess. Everybody out. Yeah! There's an unhappy sound in my classroom. Yoko, what's wrong? Everybody laughed at my lunch. They think I'm weird. What did you bring for lunch? My favorite food. Oh, sushi. Don't worry, Yoko. They'll forget about it by snack time. Tell you what, I haven't eaten my lunch yet. If you don't mind the company, we can have a desk picnic together. Snack time! Snack time! Come on, everybody, it's snack time! When your tummy starts to grumble, you can make a cookie crumble at snack time! What's that? Ice cream. Red bean ice cream. Ooh. Red bean ice cream is weird. But everyone loves ice cream. Hmm. 
I must think of something to help Yoko. Think, think, think. I know what to do. Goodbye, children. Bye. Remember Bye. to give these notes to your parents. Bye. I hope you have a happy weekend. Goodbye, Yoko. Remember to give this note to your mother. Everything will work out. You'll see. Dear parents, Monday will be International Food Day at Hilltop School. Huh? Everyone is asked to bring in a dish from another country. Everyone must try a bite of everything. Happy cooking, Mrs. Jenkins. This is exciting news. We will have to make something extra special. <gasps> extra special cheeseburgers. Oh, no. We will make Dirac sushi for the whole class. Don't worry, my little cherry blossom. Everyone will try your sushi, and everyone will love it. Children, what does International Food Day mean to us? Try everything! I brought Caribbean coconut crisps. What did you bring? Deluxe sushi? Mmm. <laughs> Something smells good. You really think so? Uh-huh. Enchiladas. Hey, Charles, wait up. Save some for me. Only take a little bite. Mexican enchiladas are pretty spicy. I like spicy. Mm, yummy. <sighs> that looks tasty. I better try some before it's all gone. What's that? Huh? Mm. Hey, what's over there? <laughs> Boston baked beans? Huh? Beans, please. Uh-oh. We ate the whole pot, sorry. I'm hungry. I didn't get to eat anything yet. Oh, that looks good. Mmm. Hey, Yummy. that's my Kanesh. How do you like International Food Day, Yoko? <sighs> I don't. How do you like International Food Day? It's hard to tell. I didn't get to try anything. Not Grace's Nigerian nut soup. Fritz's Italian spaghetti, Doris's Irish stew, Claude's mango smoothies, Nora's potato knish, Charles's enchiladas, Lily's quiche, or the Frank's Boston baked beans. And you did not try my deluxe sushi either. No one tried it. Not even one piece. Recess. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Yoko. Do you want to come outside and play ball or swing on the swing? No, thank you. I'll be right outside if you want me. <sighs> we should have made cheeseburgers. Timothy? I didn't get any lunch. I'm so hungry I'll eat anything. Let me show you how to use chopsticks. I like sushi. You're right, Yoko. This is really good. <laughs> Can we 
have sushi again tomorrow? <laughs> sure. to make your own volcano. Hmm. I need baking soda. What else? Lemon juice. It? Aha! Ooh, hot sauce. Hey, I can put these in too. Okay. Everyone stand back. <gasps> Three, two, one. Watch out! Ah, nothing. Maybe it needs more juice. Time to get up. Good morning, dear. Mom, my volcano didn't go off. Well, it certainly looks like a volcano went off in here. How about we tidy up before breakfast? Okay, Mom. Where am I gonna put all this stuff? Uh-oh, it's full. Aha! There. How's it going, honey? All tidied up. A mess! <laughs> Looks like your mess fairy was up early this morning, Fritz. He left the refrigerator door open. That silly mess fairy. Eat your breakfast, dear. Do you remember what we said about tidying up after the mess fairy? Sure I do. Interesting. There. Oh my, is that the school bus already? Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetheart. <gasps> Fritz! You haven't finished your... milk? Fritz! Hey, Timothy. Huh? Wow! A meteorite from outer space. Guess what, Timothy? Bye! Oh, that mess fairy follows Fritz wherever he goes. Oops. Oh my. That's how accidents happen. Look what I've got! What is it? 
I think it's a meteorite from outer space. Wow! Mrs. Jenkins will know if it's real or not. What's in the box, Timothy? Okay, I'll show you. But promise you won't tell. It's a surprise for In the Spotlight. Whoa! It's shells and stuff from the beach. It's better than the beach. <laughs> Thanks. Good morning, children. Come and join us. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mrs. Jenkins. Tell me all the wonderful things that happened since yesterday. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, Doris? My brother got a nosebleed. <laughs> I found a meteorite from outer space. Ooh. I think it's from outer space. Oh. Okay, everyone. Hurry scurry, playtime. <laughs> Hey guys, look what I've got. Oh. Nice box. What's in the box, Timothy? It's a big surprise for my turn in the spotlight. Oh, it's a surprise. Oh, it's a big surprise. <laughs> Goodness, it looks like the mess fairy followed someone to school today. You know about the mess fairy? <laughs> sure I do. Your mom tells me that mess follows you wherever you go. That silly mess fairy. Do you know about the mess fairy, Yoko? I know about the tooth fairy. Who's Who the, the mess fairy? fairy? I don't know. Ask Fritz. Me before, before you. you. Me, Me first. first. Oops. Mess fairy. <laughs> Children, I'd like to introduce our new student teacher, Miss Appleberry. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, morning Miss Appleberry. She will lead our music class today. Music class was over. Wait till you see what I brought for In the Spotlight. I love surprises. Fritz, who's the mess fairy? Yeah, who is the mess fairy? I don't know, but he sure makes a lot of mess. Hmm. Wow. Hey guys, watch this. <laughs> Mess Fairy? Mess Fairy! All right! The Mess Fairy did it! Fiddlesticks, I need more juice. Interesting. I hear music. Fritz? Look what I made. It's wonderful, Fritz. You've created a musical instrument. Thanks. But I think you've also created a big mess. Huh? How about we clean up after that silly mess fairy? Okay. What's he doing? 
<laughs> painting. Timothy, how wonderful. Everyone will be surprised. Wash up and we'll get ready for In the Spotlight. Thanks, Mrs. J. <laughs> the Meth Fairy did it. <laughs> the Meth Fairy did that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Fairy! Miss Fairy! <laughs> <gasps> hey! Cut it out! Frank and Frank, what's going on here? The Miss Fairy did it, Mrs. J. Hmm. <gasps> oh no! It's ruined! What's the matter, Timothy? The, the mess, mess fairy, fairy strikes, strikes again. again. <laughs> hey, stop blaming the mess fairy. You started it. Huh? Mrs. Jenkins, Timothy, the mess fairy didn't do it. I did it. There is no mess fairy. I'm sorry. I know what to do. All tidied up. Wow! It's even better than before. Thanks, Fritz. You're welcome. Mrs. Jenkins, I'm ready. It's the new Fritz. No more mess. Timothy, wait up! Good morning, dear. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Timothy? Timothy, what are you doing? Practicing. <laughs> Practicing for what? It's picnic day at school, Mom. <gasps> oh, I see. There are all kinds of games and races with running, climbing, and jumping. <laughs> After lunch, there's going to be an obstacle course. Ugh! The winner gets a gold medal. How exciting. Think quick. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you think I'll win a gold medal, Mom? <laughs> I think you'll have fun trying. Timothy, you forgot your lunch. I made special jelly sandwiches. Jelly's good for jumping. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Welcome to class picnic day. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Okay, it's gonna be great! <laughs> Miss Appleberry is here to help us have a good time. I hope you're ready for lots of races! I've been practicing. Ta-da! I can't wait till the egg and spoon race! It's 
my favorite. What's your favorite, Claude? Winning. Whatever. Before we start picnic day, I have an announcement. I want everyone to try as hard as they can. But most of all, I want you to have fun. Yeah! <laughs> Remember, children, the first team to cross the finish line with their balloon wins the race. Doris, what's the matter? I don't have a teammate. Sure you do. Me. Okay. Are we ready? Get set. Go! Go, go, go! Yeah. Run, run, run! Faster, Frank! <laughs> Faster, Frank! Faster! It's, that's got to be bad, Frank. Look, Lily, where's my balloon? <laughs> <laughs> Claude and Grace win the balloon race. <laughs> All right. so happy about they didn't win we're going to win the wheelbarrow race lily <laughs> all, all right, right. We're, we're going, going to, to win. win no we'll win huh for sure Remember, children, the first team to cross the finish line without falling over wins the race. Is everybody ready? Ready? Get to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no fair! <laughs> After them! Yeah! <laughs> These running shoes can run! <laughs> oh, yeah? Who took the ran away? Yeah, better go get them, Fitz. Whoa! Uh, whoa! Uh. We're going to win! We're going to win! Slow down, Timothy! You're going too fast! <sighs> ah! <gasps> oh, no! Hey, Timothy! <laughs> <laughs> Claude and Grace win the wheelbarrow race. We, we won! We won! We won! won! <laughs> that was fun. All right, we almost won. <laughs> <laughs> Children, I'm sorry to announce that the egg and spoon race has been canceled due to a misunderstanding. Yeah, I, I'm very sorry. You ate my favorite race! Not to worry, Nora, there are many more races. <laughs> Ready, get set, go! You go, Yoko. No, after you, Timothy. We'll win. We'll win. We'll win. We'll win. <laughs> we'll win. Yes, sir. We will win. <gasps> we'll win. No, we will. No, we will. Hey. Ooh. Claude and Grace win the three-legged race.
was the wheelbarrow race. We were going as fast as a shooting star. You mean a falling star. <laughs> <laughs> I like the balloon race. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear our balloon pop? <gasps> it was fantastic. We won second place in the three-legged race. Yeah, but we won first. We won every race. All right! Whatever. Who wants some jelly sandwich? Jelly's good for jumping. Yes, please. Sure! I do. Me too. Me too. Thanks, Timothy. I'll have some, Timothy. Would you like some of my jelly sandwich, Claude? There's lots of jumping in the obstacle course. No, thank you. We don't need it. It's time for the obstacle course. The winner gets a gold medal. Yeah! Remember, you must try every obstacle to finish the course. I hope I win. I've never won a gold medal before. May the best man win. Uh, you mean the best girl? Are you ready? Get set, go! <laughs> me before you, you. me Jumping in that. It's disgusting. It will ruin my clothes. Come on, Grace, we're losing. Yuck. Well, go around it. <laughs> Know who anybody is. <laughs> There's only one thing to do. Everyone wins a medal. I think that jelly really helped my jumping. <laughs> is this real gold? Wait till my dad sees this. Good job, boys and girls. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins.
Yesterday. And the day before that. It's dirty. Time to change into something new, Nora. I don't want to change. It's my favorite. Nora? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. I don't like this shirt. Now, Nora, it's a lovely shirt. Jack likes it. <laughs> Waffles, Mama. I want my Thunder Roller Rice Flakes. They're my favorite. I thought waffles would make a nice change. <gasps> I don't want change. What you doing? It's time to paint the upstairs. Ooh, can I hold the brushes? Sure you can. We'll start with your room. <gasps> what do you think, Nora? Cherry bomb red or brilliant blue? But I like my room this way. Hmm. Don't change that. Oh, my. Don't change that! <gasps> Please don't change that! I promise to put it back just the way you like it. It'll all be different. Well, you might like it. I won't like it. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! Not right now, Nora dear. Jack needs changing. Yeah. <laughs> More change! I don't like it! Let's button your coat, dear. It looks like it's going to rain. Mama, why do things have to change? If things didn't change, you'd still be a baby like Jack. Everything changes. Except for the school bus. That's always the same. Hello, Nora. Henry? Ready for another day at school? Yes, I am. Hey, that's my seat. <laughs> well, the Franks are feeling bus sick today. So they're sitting up front this morning. But I always sit here. <clears throat> Wanna play on the swings when we get to school? Huh? Promise you'll push? Sure, I'm a good pusher. You'll have to push hard. I want to go really high. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Woo 
Better change to another hook until I can fix it. <gasps> ah! All right. Hello, learning tree. <laughs> Hello, well done wall. Hello, dress up corner. <laughs> <sighs> Some things don't change. Everybody ready? Let's sing the welcome song. Done, everyone, especially Nora. This is a special day at Hilltop School, children. It's Musical Chairs Day. I'm going to play the piano. When the music stops, sit down on the chair you're closest to. But I like my chair. Maybe you'll like a different chair. Why don't we give it a try? Quick sticks! <laughs> <laughs> I nearly got your seat, Nora. Hey, that's my chair. This table is wobbly. My mom showed me how to fix a wobbly table. You take a napkin I can't see the chalkboard from way back here. But there's nothing on the chalkboard, Nora. This chair is too hard. Well, you want to trade chairs? No. What are you making? Angry crocodiles. Guess what I'm making? A big mess. Okay, what is it? It's a tree, you wanna see? Wow! It can shade your crocodiles from the hot sun. <laughs> I wanna make one too! It's easy! Great trees for my crocodiles, Lily. Musical chairs, everyone. <gasps> oh, bye, Nora. Bye, Lily. <laughs> 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 
Lunchbox is out and open, please, boys and girls. It's time for lunch. Nora, lucky you. You have your old chair back. I liked sitting with Lily. But at lunchtime, I always sit next to Doris. Doris has vanilla pudding. I have yakitori today. Hey, what's that? Mama puts a surprise in my lunchbox every day. Wow! I love surprises. Maybe I've got a surprise in my lunchbox, too! Nope, just peanut butter and honey. You can have my surprise if you like. Thanks, Yoko! It's even better than vanilla pudding. Recess! Everyone outside! <laughs> going to play on the swing. No, we are. No, I am. No, we are. No, I am. Ooh, you're a good shouter. Yeah, you're the best shouter. No, I am. No, I am. Big voices outside, please. <laughs> Bye, children. Thank you for another wonderful day. Can we play musical chairs tomorrow, too? How about we try something different tomorrow? Okay. I saved your seat for you, Nora. Thanks, Henry. But I'm going to sit in the back with Lily. played musical chairs, and I made friends with Lily, and we went on the merry-go-round, and the Franks pushed us so fast. How exciting. Uh-huh. And I got a surprise. Oh, can I have yakitori tomorrow instead of peanut butter and honey? And can I play with Lily after school? Of course you can, dear. Who wants to see your new bedroom? Oh, I do! I do! Ta-da! It's exactly the same as before. That's right. I found the same color of paint in the basement and put everything back just the way you like it. I didn't change a thing. Why not? Okay, Charles, now we need the small screwdriver. Eh, that should fix it. Let's see if it works. Now you can reach the toast all by yourself. Charles, look who's here. It's Auntie B. <gasps> Charles, how you've grown. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Give Auntie B a big kiss. <gasps> it's okay, honey. Oh, look, he's shy. Hurry up! Ugh. Lily, get on! 
done. Okay. Oh. Now we need somebody on top. I know. Let's ask Charles. He's small. He won't play. He's too shy. Maybe he will. No! Oh, Timothy! <laughs> Want to play, Charles? We're building a pyramid. We need you for the top. No, thanks. I'm playing. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you build this all by yourself? Uh-huh. <laughs> Those are helped. Taking so long. Charles doesn't like to play with anybody. He's shy. Hmm. He wasn't shy at recess. All ears, children. I want to show you the school safety alarm. We only pull it if there is an emergency. If the alarm bell goes off, it will get everyone's attention. When we hear it, we form a straight line and march right outside. Let's practice. No running, Frank. No pushing, Frank. That's right, children. Quick sticks out the door. Well done, Charles. Just like in a real emergency. I'm right behind you. Bow to the left. Bow to the right. Now circle round and round. <gasps> Yee haw! Yeah! Woohoo! Woohoo! Now go the wrong way round. <laughs> well done, children. Ready, Yoko? Ready, Timothy? Ready, Mrs. Jenkins? In and out you go. Claude and Grace, you do see -si do <laughs> Swing your partner round and round. Swing your partner. <laughs> wow, Frank's feet are off the ground. Huh? <laughs> Yee-haw! <gasps> Swing your partner. Dancing's fun. Now it's your turn, Doris. <laughs> hey, where's Charles? What are you doing in there? I'd hide too if I had to dance with Doris. <laughs> Don't be shy! Oh! Ugh. Charles won't Dance. Don't you want to dance, Charles? All right, you sit this one out. No fair! Nora can take your place. Okay. Yahoo! Swing your partner! Feet 
that. There. Hello? Oh, yes, he is. It's for you, Charles. Go ahead, son. Hi, Charles. It's Timothy. Hi, Timothy. I found some great stuff for building. I'll bring them into school tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. Watch out below! <laughs> Hi, low, go, Franks, go! Hi, low, go, Franks, go! Timothy, Charles, recess is over! Already? Come on, boys! Time for soccer! Charles won't play. Come on, let's go. Timothy, Charles, you're on Nora's team. All right, we're on the same team. It'll be fun. And Charles, well, why don't you play goal, huh? What what happened to Charles? <laughs> Where's Charles? What do you want to play with him for? He doesn't like to play. Yes, he does. Hi, Henry. Well, hello, Timothy. Have you seen Charles? Hmm. Charles, are you in there? Nope, no Charles. <laughs> you in here? Nope. <laughs> I did see him in the coat room a while ago. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> there you are. Uh-huh. Wow, great rocket ship. Can I fly it too? Let's go to the moon! We're going to the moon! Hmm. We need a flag for when we land on the moon. I'll be right back. Roger over and out. Hey! Wow, great flag! I'd better ask Henry. Henry! Henry! Timothy! Charles, I'm locked in! Don't worry! I know what to do! Oh, oh, uh -oh. Uh, no! Oh my, an emergency! Were you frightened? Only a little bit. Charles saved me. Thanks. Charles did the right thing, pulling the emergency alarm. He knew what to do. Thank you, Charles. 
I think someone deserves to be Hilltop School's first safety monitor. You're a hero! A superhero! Yay, Charles! I'm drawing lions and tigers. What are you drawing, Timothy? A pirate ship. Ugh! Charles is drawing creepy crawlies. It's a sunrise. See? Ew! It's a spider. A big yellow spider. I hate spiders. Ah! Hey! What's up, Lily? I can't find my pencil. Uh, Lily, um... I had it, and now I don't. Um... It's lost. Well, what's that, then? I oh, found it! <laughs> Lily, your shoelace is untied. Oh! Would you like help tying it up? Mama showed me how. How about we try double knots? Okay. <gasps> Finished. Great sunrise, Charles. What did you draw? That's Mama and that's me. Good lunchbox. Thanks. Lunch boxes out and open, please, boys and girls. It's time for lunch. Yay! Yahoo! Yay! Yay! Ah! Come on! <laughs> oh, <laughs> right! <laughs> huh? <sighs> What's the matter, Lily? I can't find my lunch box. It's lost. What does it look like? It looks like this. Quick sticks, children. Let's help Lily find her lunchbox. It looks like this. Nice lunchbox. Yeah. Find it? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Finders keepers? Nope. Do you see it? No, I do not see it. Hey, I found it. Well done, Charles. Lunch time, boys and girls. Yay! Yay! Oh, Lily always forgets where she puts things. She'd forget her head if it wasn't screwed on tight. Thanks for finding my lunchbox, Charles. You're welcome, Lily. I'm glad you have your lunch. Mama says I forget because... My head is full of sunshine. I helped Mama make lunch today. I got to squish the bread together. Really? Me too. <laughs> Want half? What's that on your finger? Mrs. Jenkins says if I tie a string around my finger, it'll help me remember where I put my things. Does it work? Not yet. Where's my, um, Lily? Thanks, Charles. <laughs> Everybody outside, time for recess. One. Ready or not, here I come! <laughs> hey, Charles. 
Charles, wanna play? I'm playing with Lily. Can we play after? Okay, after Lily finds me. But she'll never find you. <laughs> hey! She found you! Yup, I'm good at games. Now we can play until the ice cream truck comes. Oh no! I forgot to ask Mama for a nickel for ice cream. I'll share my ice cream with you, if you save me a place in line. Okay. Charles, the ice cream truck will be here any minute. He went to get his nickel for ice cream. Don't look or it will never come. Just think of something else. Knock, knock. Who is there? Olive. Olive who? Olive you too. <laughs> <laughs> I know a knock, knock joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hutch. Hutch who? Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy has a cold. Oh, want to borrow my, <gasps> my scarf? Oh, I lost it. You had it playing hide and seek. Check by the tree. Lily, the ice cream truck's coming. Don't forget ice cream. Where's Lily? Over there. She lost her scarf. I'll help her find it. Thanks for helping me, Charles. You're welcome. One Zoom ice cream, please. Yummy. Look, I got the last one. <laughs> Sorry, I lost your place in line, Charles. I know. Whoa! Ah! Wait up! Hey! I remember what this is for. It's to remind me to bring my umbrella. Good remembering, Lily. Bye! See you tomorrow. Hello, Mama! Hello, dear. How was your day? Oh, where's your lunchbox? <gasps> it was... I, I, um... I had it on the bus, I think. Never mind about your lunchbox, Lil. We'll get it back. Tell me about your day. I remember everything about it. We drew pictures, and I traded lunch, and I played hide-and-seek. But I didn't... Get any ice cream? That's a lot of things to do in one day. Good remembering. My friend Charles helps me sometimes. Well, you be sure to tell Charles he's doing a good job, too. Okay. I won't forget, Mama. Here's a nickel for ice cream, Lily. Thanks. Put it someplace you'll remember. Charles, I remembered. Meet you after school for ice cream? Okay. Don't forget it. Where's my... I remember. Ta-da! Good job, Lily. Oh boy, 
Let's go! <gasps> Wait! What's wrong, Lily? Where is my nickel? I put it someplace I'd remember. Thank you, Billy. Check your pockets again. Think harder, Lily. I can't remember. I have an extra nickel from yesterday. We can both have ice cream. I'll go and get them. Excuse me, pardon me. Hey, no fair. I have to get through before hey, I forget. Lily. Two Zoom ice creams, please. I did it! Lily, did you forget something? Nope. Two Zoom ice creams. One for me and one for... <gasps> Children. Sorry. Sorry, Mrs. Jenkins, but I'm trying to find my nickel. If I go backwards to every place I've been, maybe I can find it. I see. Would you like some help with your shoelace first? I remember! That's it! I put my nickel someplace I'd remember! Remembering, Lily. Thank you, Charles. There's just one thing. Where is my shoe? <laughs> okay, guys. This time we're going to score, right? Right. If we don't work together, we won't have a chance against the Franks. Okay. Okay. Let's play! One more time! Go Franks, go! Go Franks, go! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Hot one! Hot two! Hot three! Get it, Frank! Hey! Get it, Frank! Four, two! Me, two, you! are unbeatable. Let's play! Let's play! Nah, I, I don't want to. Hey, what's wrong with Frank? I don't know. Quick sticks, children. Recess is over. Me before you. Me first. Me before you. Me first! Here they go again. Me before you. Me first. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll both, both go, go first. first. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <sighs> nah, I don't want to. Oh. <gasps> Frank, are you okay? I guess so, except I'm kind of itchy. Hmm. Let me feel your forehead. It feels a little warm. Am I a little warm too? No, you seem to be okay. 
But, Frank, you might have a fever. Let's go see the nurse. Hey, look, everyone. There's only one Frank. Only one Frank? Let's see. Hey, Frank! Where's Frank? He is sick. He is staying home. Poor, Poor Frank. Frank. Good morning, children. Welcome to a brand new school day. Me before you. Oh, yeah. There is no you. Frank. Huh? Where's Frank? He is sick. Oh, dear. It certainly is going to be different with only one Frank. Yeah. Eyes front, children. Does anyone know what this letter is? <gasps> I do! I do! Yes, Doris. It's an F. That's right. Now, who knows a word that starts with the letter F? We do! We do, don't we? Oh, yeah, there is no we. Not without Frank. <sighs> Are you sure Frank still wants to play? He said he didn't know what else to do at recess. Let's play! Dive one more time! Go, Frank, go! Whoa! Oh, I find something fun without Frank. Okay, Frank. We'll give you the ball to start. Four, two. Me, two. Two. Huh? Go, Go Charles. Charles! Run! <gasps> Yay! Whoa. All right! We, we scored. scored! We, we scored! scored. You, you scored. We always score. Oh, yeah. There is no we. We yeah, scored! <laughs> we did it! Hey, I think Frank misses Frank. I hope he gets better soon. Any fours? No. Go fish. I'm home! Frank! Hi, low, go, Franks, go! Hi, low, go, Franks, go! Hey, big guy! How was school? Awful! I couldn't do anything without Frank. Without me? Yeah! What did you do without me? We had fun, didn't we, Dad? <laughs> sure did, big guy. Fun? We played cards and ate ice cream. Played cards and ate ice cream? Without me? Frank? Frank? Hop on at him, boys. Mm. Now, let's see how you're feeling this morning. I, I think I'm still sick. Yeah, 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 you still have a fever. Does that mean I stay home from school again? Ah, I guess so, big guy. Feel my forehead. I think I'm, I think I'm even sicker than Frank. See, I have to stay home too. Don't, don't I, Dad? Ah, you don't feel hot, Frank. But, but I'm itchy, Dad. Really itchy. Really? Well, well, kinda itchy. Hey, what's up? What's really the matter, Frank? I want to stay home and play cards and eat ice cream like Frank. I hate being the only Frank at school. But if you don't go, there'd be no Franks at school. You don't want that, do you? I guess not. That's my Frank. It'll be better today. Y you'll see. Give me five. All right, everyone. Find a puzzle partner. Yeehaw! Come on! Yeah. 
Do you want to be my puzzle uh, partner? Who, me? Yeah. I have never had a partner who is not Frank. Come on. It'll be fun. All right, puzzle partners. Pick your pile of puzzle parts. When I say go, start putting your puzzles together. Ready? Ready! Go! Hey, what are you doing? This is how Frank and I put puzzles together. Try this, Frank. I'll put down this part, then you put down a part that fits into it. Like this? Yeah, that's good. Now I'll put this part here. And I'll put this part here. And we're done. Very good, Frank and Timothy. You finished the puzzle. Oh, I never finished a puzzle with Frank. No trades. Huh? Timothy? Hey, I don't have to fight for my beans with Frank. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good stuff. No, mm. you don't have to worry about that with me. All right. Hey, Frank, you want to play? Who, me? I've never played with anyone who is not Frank. We were good puzzle partners. Maybe we could be good football partners. Okay, let's play! One more time! Hey! Go, go team, team, go! Go, go team, team, go! Hut <laughs> <laughs> one, hut two, hut three! One, three! You do me! Timothy, huddle! This time, I do it to you, okay? Okay. Hut one, hut two, hut three. Four, two, me, two, you. Get it, Timothy! Oh. I got it, I got it! One, three, you to me! Eight, nine, this, this one's, one's mine. mine! Frank! You're here! Yeah, Dad says I'm not sick anymore, and I wanted to come back to school. Instead of playing cards and eating ice cream with Dad, it was no fun anymore without you. Without me? Yeah, what did you do without me? I had fun! Fun? Yeah! Timothy and I finished our puzzle. And then we played ball and we scored. You, you scored? With, without me? Frank, you're back. Yeah! I'm not sick anymore. Me before you! <laughs> me first! Me before you! Me first! Okay, okay we'll, we'll both, both go, go first! first. <laughs> <laughs> One more time! Oh... <gasps> nah, I do not feel like it. Oh. Uh-oh. Let me feel your forehead, Frank. I think you've got the fever Frank had. Let's go see the nurse. Me before you! Oh, yeah, there is no you. Here we go again. <laughs> Quick sticks, children. 
Wow! It's a mess! <gasps> it's a big mess. I guess it's time to play the place race. If it's a race, we'll win. Right, Frank? Right, Frank. What's the place race? It's a race to put everything in its proper place. Everybody ready? Ready! ready. Go! <laughs> Timothy, that book goes on the bookshelf. Thanks, Doris. Grace, those pencils go in the pencil jar. Yes, I know, Doris. <laughs> Frank and Frank, make sure those balls go in the basket. Two points! Four points! Go, Frank, go! <laughs> okay, children, the place race is over. And you all win. Yay! Yay! Now, before you go home, I have an announcement. Tonight, I want you to think about something special you'd like to paint. Tomorrow, you're all going to paint a picture. Yeah! All right! Yay! I can't wait to paint. What about you, Doris? I don't know. I don't paint a lot. Huh? What? Everybody loves painting. Painting is fun. <sighs> Doris! Yes, Mom? Oh! <laughs> Tell your brothers to come to the dinner table. Okay, Mom. <gasps> Boris! Morris! Horace! Mom says to come to the dinner table! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I get to sit beside Dad. No fair. Oh! I get to sit beside Boris. I get to sit across from Boris. <gasps> Doris, you sit here. Okay. So, what happened in school today? Mrs. Jenkins. I traded lunch and got two jam sandwiches for one bologna. Oh. Wow! Mrs. Jenkins says. I held my breath for two minutes. Oh. Great! Mrs. Jenkins says. I hopped on one foot all through recess. All, all right! right. Uh, Mrs. Jenkins! We can hear you, Doris. Mrs. Jenkins says we're going to paint tomorrow. We're supposed to think of something to paint. I painted the house once. You did? Yep. It used to be green, and I painted it blue. <laughs> <laughs> now, is everyone ready to paint? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> First of all, we're going to make colors. Look at the ones you have in front of you. Who knows what those colors are? Hey, I do. Oh, Me too. Oh, oh, Grace? Oh. That's red, that's yellow, and that's blue. Very good. And with these three colors, called primary colors, you can make all the other colors. But how do you make them? By mixing two of the colors together. Let's all try. I mix red and yellow, and I made orange. I mixed yellow and blue, and I made green. I made purple by mixing blue and red. See what happens if you add white or black to a color. Look, Charles mixed red and white and made pink. That's very pretty, Charles. Oh! Look what we made! Football Brown! Go, go Frank, Frank, go! go. <laughs> <laughs> I mixed a bunch of colors and I got this. What is that color? I don't know, but I like it. It's weird. Yeah, I've never seen a football that color. I like it. Now that you can make colors, it's time to start painting. 
But what are we supposed to paint? Anything you like. You can paint something that makes you feel good, something you like to look at, or something that makes you smile. Whatever you want. Alright everyone, now we're going to have our own art show. Let's see what you painted. I painted a picture of me with my mom and dad outside our house. I painted a bird on a cherry blossom branch. I painted a flower with four petals and three leaves. I painted Mrs. Jenkins because she makes me smile. Thank you, Charles. Good work, Lily. Thanks, Mrs. Jenkins. Right. Who hasn't shown their painting? Oh, oh, oh! Doris, what did you paint? Um, I painted this. That's, That's weird. weird. It's, it's... What is it? I don't know. Then why did you paint it? I don't know. I just liked it. Um, I like it too. Even if I don't know what it is? Let's see, listening ears, children. I've got a surprise for you. These are permission slips for you to take home and give to your parents. Because tomorrow, we're going to a museum to see some famous paintings. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I ate three bowls of spaghetti at lunch. I learned how to do this with my tongue. Uh, I ran backwards all the way through recess. And what about you, Doris? I painted this. What is it? Why'd you paint that? Why didn't you paint me? It looks like you. Yeah, oh. big blue blob. Morris, Horace, Morris, that's enough. Do you like it, Mom? It's very nice, Doris. I think you should put it on the fridge, dear. Yes, that's just what I'll do. Mom! It's upside down! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quick sticks, children. Line up and get ready to go to the museum. We'll just make sure everyone is here. Yes, yes, yes. Wait. Where's Doris? There she is, around the corner. Doris, don't you want to come to the museum? No. But why? I'm not a good painter like everyone else. Nobody likes my painting. I like it. Come along to the museum, Doris. I think you'll be surprised. <laughs> Listening ears, children. This museum is filled with all kinds of paintings. Miss Appleberry will guide you through the museum. As you walk through, you may see something that reminds you of your painting. Everyone, pick a buddy and stick with them all the time. <laughs> Museum buddies, everyone! <laughs> um, will you be my museum buddy? Okay, Charles. In this room, you'll see pictures of trees and fields and lakes. These are called landscapes. Wow! There's a tree like mine! They aren't like mine. 
And here we have some still life paintings. That's what you call paintings of flowers or fruits. <laughs> wow! Hey, those flowers are like mine. And when you paint a picture of someone, it's called a portrait. <laughs> I wonder if he painted his mom and dad too. Oh, Mrs. J, no one paints like me. Come into the next room, everyone. Come and see this. This kind of painting is called abstract. That means the paintings don't look real, like the other paintings we've seen. These ah. artists paint this way because they like the way it looks. What is that? That, that is, is weird. weird. These are real paintings. I think I like the other room better. Wow, I like these paintings. They look like mine. What do you think, Charles? They're almost as good as yours. Thanks, Charles. We like these paintings, Mrs. J. Can Charles and I stay here? <laughs> All right, Doris. How's that? A little higher on the left? That's perfect. I think that's my favorite one yet. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Mom says you're supposed to come for dinner. What are you doing? I'm making a museum of my paintings. Who's gonna see them in here? Me and Charles, whenever he wants, right? Right. Come on, it's dinner time, Charles. <laughs> I get, I get to sit in And remember, you're going to have to speak up. <laughs> Make it go higher! 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 The Franks are on fire! <laughs> Ow! <gasps> oh no. Are you okay, Timothy? Yeah. Not like that. Like this. You see, it's easier. Hey, I don't feel dizzy. Come on, higher. Higher, higher, the Franks never tire. And then Frank hit the ball back over to me? Yes. And I hit it the way he said. Yes. And I didn't even get dizzy. Wow. And then Frank hit the ball high in the air. You should have seen it. Right, Frank and Frank? Right, yeah, right. Ooh, great bike. Yeah, that's a really great bike. Hey, it doesn't have training wheels. I don't need training wheels. Training wheels are for little kids. For babies. Yeah, babies. <laughs> yeah, babies. Goo goo. <laughs> ga ga. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Timothy. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hello, dear. Guess what? Frank and Frank are going to sleep over tonight. Big Frank has to use his bulldozer to fix a bridge. What? Here? Tonight? Yes, dear. Oh. I thought you liked Frank and Frank. I do, but... What? Are they staying for dinner? Yes. Well, don't use those. Use the real plates. But I thought you liked these plates. Well, I don't want Frank and Frank to think I'm a baby. Okay. I gotta go clean up my room. P, 
Pingy, I have to hide you, or the Franks will laugh at me. Don't worry, it's just for tonight. <sighs> Let's hustle, guys! Okay! Now don't forget to pack your jammies. Okay! And uh, don't forget your manners either, huh? We won't. Yeah, we won't. Okay, partners. I want pleases and, and thank yous from you both. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's okay to ask for seconds, but uh, be polite. You guys understand? Yeah. yeah. That's my boys. <laughs> Forgot this. Hey, what was that? Nothing. Yeah, it was. No. What was it? Get off! This is my bag. Hey! <coughs> not fair! Oh! Oh! Hey, 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 now this isn't the time for fun and games. You can play at Timothy's house. Yeah! Bye, Dad! Yeah, bye! Hey! Haha, <laughs> 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 now you can't get me! Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Not fair! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's under here? Boys! Dinner! Dinner! Go, Franks, go! Go, Franks, go! Go, Franks, go! Great Franks and beans! Best we ever had! Thank you, boys. <laughs> can I have some more? <clears throat> I mean, can I have some more, please? Me before you, me first. Me before you, me first. Hey, no fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll both go first. Please. <laughs> Here you go. Me too, please. I'm winning. No, I'm winning. <clears throat> uh, why don't we go outside and shoot some hoops? Yeah, great idea. Yeah. Great dinner, thanks! Yeah, thanks! Me before you, me first! Hey! Me before you, me first! You're welcome, boys! I'll try to wear them out before bed. <laughs> <sighs> One, two, me against you! Three, four, I'm gonna score! Farewell! Was not! Was too! You're just mad, because I'm winning. Not for long. Hey! <laughs> now who's winning? Okay. That's enough basketball for tonight, I think. <laughs> I won. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Frank, let's race. 
אוקיי. tired them out dear <laughs> time to get ready for bed boys okay 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 <gasps> come on let's get your teeth brushed Come on, Timothy. Time for bed. Okay. Is there anything you need before lights out? Nope. nope. Yeah. Uh, no. Good night, boys. Night, Dad. Night. Yeah, night. What's that? I, I don't know. I don't know either. Huh? What's this? It's Bully! You brought that baby toy? Is that what you were hiding? Now the whole school is going to find out and laugh at us. But Bully makes me feel better at night. I have a favorite bedtime toy, too. He's Pingy. We won't tell if you won't tell. Yeah, I won't tell. Promise? I promise. You are practicing very well, Yoko. Mama? Yes, my little cherry blossom? Sing me the song again. Now, which song would that be? <laughs> you know, from when I was a baby. <laughs>
There's nothing like music class to help get the chores done. <laughs> oh. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's right, children. Yoko practices music every day. She sounds good. Why is everyone looking at me? Wow! You're good, Yoko. Yeah! Well done, everyone. And well done, Yoko. I think it's time to take it outside and build a music tree. What's that? I've heard of a music box, but never a music tree. To build a music tree, we make clackers and clangers and boobams and bangers, and then we hang them from the branches of the school tree. Just like Christmas. That's right. We'll build a music tree, and then we'll give a very special concert. Mrs. Jenkins? Yes, Timothy? Can Yoko play her violin? Can we ask our parents to come? There's an idea. What do you say, Yoko? <gasps> Will there be lots of people watching? Don't worry. You won't be alone. Everyone will have a part. We're going to play a spring symphony. Fritz, oven dried orange slices. My favorite snack. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. What are you doing? Homework. Nora! If I don't find my pots and pans, there'll be no supper. Nora? Ah! We're building a music tree at school, Mom. In that case, I'll make sandwiches for supper. <laughs> hey, Dad, can we have this big drum for the music tree at school? Sure you can. Yeah, but let me fix it up for you first, huh? Why, it sounds great the way it is! <laughs> well, that's just me hammering. <laughs> Listen to this. All right! This old washboard will look great on the music tree, Lily. Mama never uses these either. Look what I made. That's music to my ears. Big Frank says never throw anything away. It'll come in handy someday. This is going to be a very special music tree. Hey, Yoko, want to be in my rubber band band? Um, I guess. What's the matter? I'm nervous about playing my violin in front of the music tree with everybody watching. Don't worry, Yoko. We'll be right behind you. <sighs> Nothing sounds as good as my rattles. Except your jingles. <laughs> Outstanding panpipes, Nora. How about you and Lily make some more? I'll show you how. Come on!
something is the matter. I don't hear practicing. I don't want to practice. Is that you, Cherry Blossom? I don't want to play my violin in front of the music tree either. Why not? I'll make a mistake and everyone will laugh at me, Mama. That might happen. But if you do not play your violin for other people, they will never get to hear the beautiful music you hear all the time. Like I do. It is your choice, Yoko. You can decide after rehearsal tomorrow. Yoko? Good morning, boys and girls. Is everyone ready to play the music tree? Yes, Mrs. Jenkins. Yes, Mrs. Jenkins. Quick sticks, everyone choose something to play. We can't all choose stomping sticks. Timothy, how about you play wind chimes? Oh, boy! And Fritz, how about you play the wooden xylophone? Okay. Everyone choose something different. Yoko, you come up here next to me where everyone can see you. How about you start us off? That was loud. <laughs> Let's continue, shall we? Very good, Frank and Frank. But if you wait until I point to you, it'll sound even better. I can't help it. Don't worry. We'll keep practicing until concert day. Now, one, two, three. There's Timothy. He looks like an apple. <laughs> I cannot see my little cherry blossom anywhere. Ah. Hey, Yoko. Good luck. I wish I was up there with you, Timothy. Mothers and fathers, boys and girls, Thank you for coming to hear our Spring Symphony. Who'd believe my pots and pans would be in a concert? Yoko? Ready? That's my boys.
Good job. Oh, hey. yeah. Well done, Yoko. Very good. <laughs> I can do it. Hey, who's got the glue? Yeah, who has the glue? Can you wait a second? Sure! Oh my, isn't he cute? Thanks, Mrs. J. I'm finished! Me too. 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 Well done, everyone. All of you have earned a silver star. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yay. Woohoo. Now, let's put our stars on the well done wall. Yeah. Woohoo. Remember, everyone, a star on the well done wall is for. A, a job, job well done. done! Now let's see what you've made. Timothy. A rollover rover, Mrs. J. See? He rolls over. You can tickle his tummy. <laughs> well done, Timothy. Oh, boy. Wow. Nora? I've made a talking tube so everyone can hear me! <laughs> well done, Nora. After recess, we're going to form teams. Are we playing games? No. You're going to do a special team project. <gasps> can we earn silver stars? You certainly can. But this time, one team will earn a special prize, too. What, what? what is it? <laughs> it's a surprise. Recess, children. <laughs> Want to play Leapfrog? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ready? Get set? Go! <laughs> Lily, we did it! Yay! Yes! <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> We're a great team. Oh, I think so too. Let's race again! Yeah! Okay. yeah. yeah. Rocket ships! Wow! Rocket ships are my favorite, too! I'm going to build one and win the special prize. Quick sticks, children! Recess is over! Inside, everyone! Now we're going to choose partners for our special team project. Lily, you choose first. Charles! He's great at leapfrog. I choose Fritz! 
Maybe we'll win this special prize. Maybe you will, Nora. Next. Thank. <laughs> Timothy. Timothy? Um... Claude! Huh? Oh, oh, oh! I choose Grace! Huh? Yoko? Yes, Mrs. Jenkins? Will you help Lily and Charles? Mm, of course I will. Now we're really going to have fun. Aren't we, Charles? Yeah! What kind of rocket ship are we building? We're not building a rocket ship. But I thought... We're building a space shuttle. Oh, great. I like space shuttles, too. Help with those windows. No thanks. These could be the engines. I already made the engines. Oh. This could be a great parachute. What? This could be a great parachute. You know, for when it lands. I've got one. Oh. You could finish sweeping. Hi, guys. How are you doing, Timothy? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm building a space shuttle, Dad. Good boy. How did your game go? Oh, the usual. Do you ever lose, Dad? <laughs> Not if I can help it. Uh, nice to see you, Timothy. Nice to see you, too. Don't forget your tennis lessons, Claude. Can you come back later? I've run out of glue anyway. Oh, I've got some Slurpee Stars glue at home. It would look great on a space shuttle. Uh-huh. I'll go get it. No, no, um, no. It's gotta be here, it's gotta be here. Timothy. I thought you were at Claude's house. What are you looking for? My Slurpee Stars glue. We're making a space shuttle. It's gotta be here. Somewhere. Well, maybe Claude has some. But I want to use mine. Here it is, Timothy. Oh, boy. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Hey, Claude! I got the Slurpee Stars. I already have some. Good morning, dear. Hi, Mom. How about some rocket twirls? I don't like rocket twirls anymore. And I don't like space shuttles either. Oh, why not? Claude didn't let me do anything, Mom. Not anything. I don't care if our space shuttle wins a special prize.
It's no fun being partners with Claude. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Goodness me, I've never seen so many wonderful projects. Did you have fun making them? Yeah! 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 yeah. Now remember everyone, a star on the well done wall is for a... Job well done. well done! I have an announcement to make. All of you have won a silver star. <laughs> and one project has won a special prize. I think the space shuttle is extra special. So do I. Me too. What do you think, Mrs. Jenkins? Well, I think the space shuttle is extra special too. <gasps> oh, wow. wow! Congratulations, Timothy and <gasps> Claude. Oh, yeah! Hooray! Yeah! Hooray! Hooray! What can it do? It can fly. Can it blast into space? When I want it to. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. Your space shuttle is really special, Timothy. You must have had a lot of fun making it. I didn't have any fun at all. You didn't? No. Claude did everything. He wouldn't even use my tube of Slurpee stars. <gasps> You have a tube of Slurpee stars? Yeah. Wow! I've got some purple pipe cleaners and some red ones, too. Great! We could make a caterpillar together. I love caterpillars. Especially purple furry ones with red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful In the Spotlight, Lily. You're welcome, Mrs. Jenkins. <laughs> we like springtime. Yeah! All right, everyone. It's time to open up the windows and blow the dust off. Oh. Mother Nature is waking up from her long winter sleep. Now, I want each of you to think of a special project that reminds us of springtime. Oh, 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 oh! I'm going to paint a daisy marker for the garden. That's a good idea. Can I paint one too? Whatever you like. Let's get busy. Hey, Frank. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? What do you think of when you think of spring? Hmm. Um... Birds! Let's build a birdhouse! Out of ice cream sticks. Will we have to eat lots of ice cream? Only if we build a big one. Okay, let's build a big one! <laughs> Frank and Frank, I have just the thing to help. Maybe Mrs. J has some ice cream for us. Yeah! I enjoy ice cream myself from time to time. Huh? Here you go, boys. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Jenkins. Yeah, thanks a lot. That's really swell. I'm going to spring into spring. Get it? <laughs> Got it. 
I'm going to collect special spring things and put them in a spring scrap box. What's your spring project, Yoko? I'm still deciding. I know! I'm going to plant a seed and help it grow into a flower. Just like Lily did in the spotlight. I want to build a kite, but I need a partner. Oh, I'll be your partner, Timothy. Thanks, Charles. Did someone say they want to plant a seed? I do, Mrs. Jenkins. You'll need some dirt and a pot to grow it in. Let's see what we can find. That's the ticket. Well done, Yoko. Do you know what you want to grow in your pot? Not yet. I'm deciding. Hmm. Mama? Yes, my little cherry blossom? What can I grow in my pot for my spring project? How about this avocado plant? I want to grow it from a seed by myself. How about some magic beans? <laughs> Mama, I'm not Jack and the Beanstalk. Hmm. I know just the thing. Here we are. <gasps> what are they? They are cherry blossom seeds, my little cherry blossom. I planted that tree when you were born. <gasps> it's perfect, Mama. I hope they will grow, Yoko. They have been in the drawer a long time. Oh, they will grow, Mama. I know it. April showers bring May flowers. Now what? <laughs> they grow up. Nothing's happening. Not yet. Mama says it takes time to help things grow. Your mama's right, Yoko. Now what do we do? Wait for the glue to dry. Oh. Hey, what is Nora doing? Let's go see. I made a butterfly. Nice butterfly. Oh, yes. Great kite, Timothy. Thanks, Frank. Nice kite, Charles. Thanks. What's that? It's my spring project. We don't see anything. It's a cherry blossom tree. Oh. Well, that's a cherry tree, and this is a race car. Race you. <laughs> a beautiful cherry blossom tree. Goodbye, children. Bye. Thank you for Bye. another wonderful day. Bye. Goodbye, Mrs. Jenkins. Goodbye, Hilltop School. Where's Yoko? Good night, Cherry Blossom. Don't forget your water. Happy dreams. Quick sticks, Yoko. Time to go. Mrs. Jenkins, nothing's happened yet. Give it a little time, Yoko. Goodbye. Goodbye, Yoko. What a busy day you have had. I wish my cherry blossom would hurry up and grow, Mama. It will take time. Good night, cherry blossom. Don't forget your water. Happy 
dreams. Good night, Mama. Good morning, children. Hello, Mrs. Finkins. How are you? Hello, Mrs. J. Good morning, Cherry. Blossom. Hmm. Something is missing. Huh? How about this? Wow! Way to go, Charles! What are you drawing, Yoko? It's my cherry blossom. I can't wait to see it for real. Me too. Well done, Frank. Very nice birdhouse, Frank. Now we can watch the birds. Finishing your spring project deserves a star on the well done wall. All right, a star. Oh, good. <laughs> Don't you want to see the Frank's birdhouse? It's really neat. Wow, that's good. All right. On the well done wall. <laughs> <laughs> they got a star. Look, Mrs. Jenkins, we finished our kite. It has a long tail. How wonderful. You each deserve a star. Love the spring shoes, Fritz. Well done. Look, I finished my spring scrap box, Mrs. Jenkins. Very good, Grace. You let us know when your spring project is ready, Yoko, okay? Okay. Hey, Yoko, want to come test our kite? No, thanks. I still have to finish my spring project. Okay. Come on, Charles. I wish you'd come say hello. to start another, faster spring project. Won't you come out to play? What you doing, Yoko? Oh, working on my spring project. I can't wait to see it. Really? Really. I'm sure it's gonna be great. Want to try the kite? Okay. Oh, no. That's okay. Maybe someday my kite will get stuck in your cherry blossom tree. You really think so? Yep, I think it will, Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> J. 
you're at, Mrs. Jenkins. You look wonderful, dear. Are you a prince, Claude? I'm a king. Of course you are. And you are... Football players! <laughs> what are you pretending to be, Grace? A fairy in a beautiful ballet. Fairies love ballet. Shiver me timbers and walk the plank. Arr. Excuse me? That's what pirates say, Yoko. Oh. What are you pretending to be, Fritz? A detective. I solve mysteries. Here comes Nora. I think Nora's pretending to be a pilot. <laughs> Did everyone have fun playing Let's Pretend? Yeah. 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 I have an idea. What is it, Mrs. Jenkins? Let's put on a talent show and ask your families to come. Wow! I love talent shows. Me too. I'm going to do a magic trick. I like magic. Can I help? Yeah. Oh, can I do my ballet dancing, Mrs. Jenkins? Of course you can, Grace. Everyone can do whatever they want in the Hilltop School Talent Show. My mom can't wait to see our show. My mama is very excited, too. One, two, three, leap! I'll throw and you catch. <laughs> then I'll catch and you throw. Got it! Doris, you almost knocked me over. Oops, sorry. When I say abracadabra, you lift the pot. Got it! I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. That sounds great, Claude. Thanks. What are you going to do, Timothy? I'm not sure yet. I was wondering if Timothy would be our master of ceremonies. What's a master of ceremonies? Someone who introduces each performer. Okay, I'll do it. And introducing the best supper in the world. Mom's homemade pizza. <laughs> Grace is doing very well in her ballet lessons. Yes, and she's so excited about the talent show. Almost ready! Plie, relevé, arabesque. One, two, three, leap. Pirouette and bow. Well done. Isn't that marvelous? You look wonderful, darling. You'll be the star of the show. Abracadabra! Abracadabra! Where are the magic flowers? <gasps> I've lost them. We'll find them before the show. <laughs> Introducing the fabulous Frank Brothers. Play ball, boys. 
But that's what we were doing. Where's Grace? your ankle. I fell. Lean on me, dear. Oh, no. Oh. Neat bandage, Grace. I had one like that once. I scratched my tail. What happened to your ankle, Grace? I hurt it. Did you jump off a tree? No. I hurt it dancing. It'll get better before the show. No, it won't. I can't be in this show. I'm sorry, Grace. But I practiced and practiced, Mrs. Jenkins. Now I can't dance. I can't do anything. We'll think of something. You can watch. I don't want to just watch. Can you pull a curtain, Grace? Of course I can pull a curtain. Then you can help me. Okay. Who's next? Doris. Introducing Dashing Doris! <laughs> I can't. What's wrong, Doris? Oh, my hoop stuck. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Timothy. Why not use a bigger hoop? That's a great idea. <laughs> we'll go through it one more time. Okay. Abracadabra. Where are the flowers? In my pocket. Ta-da! You got it! And introducing Nora, the truly... Again. I'll get it this time. And introducing Nora, the truly tremendous... <sighs> it's no good. I'll never get it. If Timothy gives you a signal, you will. Like this. That's a great idea. Thanks, Grace. I'm really proud of you. But... I'm only pulling the curtain. Oh, you're doing much more than that. Such a shame about Grace's ankle. She was so looking forward to the show. Almost ready! Uh -huh. Is everybody ready? Away we go! Top School Talent Show. We have something for everyone. And, uh... Everyone's doing something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. You'll be great. Introducing Nora, the truly tremendous tap dancer. <laughs>
gentlemen, it's time for our last act. Please welcome Fritz and Lily, the amazing magicians. Abracadabra. Ta-da! Good job. We hope you've enjoyed the show. We did! <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all the children for being such wonderful performers. Bravo. Well done! Oh, wonderful! But there's one person who deserves a special thank you. Someone who helped everyone do their best. Ladies and gentlemen, the director. Bravo! Well done, sweetheart! Congratulations! Good job! Thank you, Grace. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins. Thank you, everyone. I had a lot of fun. But really, I just was pulling the curtain. Thank you, <laughs> Sounds like scary monsters have come to Hilltop School. Stegosaurus! Whoa! That's the biggest dinosaur yet. Until this one. Triceratops! Wow! We certainly know our dinosaurs. Mrs. Jenkins? Yes, Timothy? I can't wait to go see the real dinosaurs. Can't we go to the museum today? Tomorrow will come soon enough, Timothy. Huh? Hey, what are you doing, Nora? Um, I dropped my pencil. You can use mine so you don't miss any of the dinosaurs. Thanks. Raptor. Charles, windows, please. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. We've certainly learned a thing or two about dinosaurs this week. How about we draw a picture of our favorite dinosaur to take to the museum tomorrow? I know which dinosaur I'm going to draw. Me too. I know lots of dinosaurs, but I think T-Rex is the best. He's the king of dinosaurs. Diplodocus was like a submarine. He could stay underwater forever because he had a nose on top of his head. I like Pterodactyl. She can fly and she sleeps hanging upside down. I like Stegosaurus. Yeah, he had the brain the size of a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> Brachiosaurus had a really stretchy long neck to reach the highest trees. Which dinosaur do you like best, Nora? Um, well, I, uh... Recess! Recess! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <sighs> There's also Patagosaurus, Camarasaurus, Ichthyosaurus, Allosaurus, Albertosaurus, Diplodocus, Dinonychus, Iguanodon. Claude does know a lot about dinosaurs. Hey! Look at this! Wow! These are dinosaur tracks. Let's follow them. Uh-uh. What if it's a mean, angry dinosaur? I know what kind of dinosaur made these tracks. Come on. <laughs> it's a Henryosaurus. Great dinosaur tracks, Henry. Thank you, Timothy. I love dinosaurs. They stomp. 
Dinosaurs rule! Roar! Roar! <laughs> Guess who I am, Nora? Roar! 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 Um, can't stay, gotta go? Nora doesn't want to play dinosaurs. But Nora loves to play games. Roar! Guess who I am, Timothy? Roar! It's a Triceratops. Ah! Roar! Roar! <laughs> How's the fossil dig coming along, Fritz? Okay. You're doing a fine job. <laughs> oh, dear. How ferocious. <laughs> What's that? It's a pretendosaurus. She's very friendly. She looks friendly. What does she eat? Grapefruit. <laughs> I like your pretendosaurs much better than real dinosaurs. How come your picture hasn't got any dinosaurs in it? They're hiding. Oh, <laughs> I see. There's one in that cave. And oh, there's another one in that bush. And there's one in that tree. Let's see, where else could one be? There's one, and there's one. Oh. They're everywhere. <laughs> Goodbye, children. Bye. Thank Bye. you for a wonderful Bye. day. And thank you for the dinosaurs. You're welcome, Timothy. Remember to give this to your parents to sign so we can all go to the museum tomorrow and see real dinosaurs. Oh, boy. Now, don't lose it, Lily. The first thing I'm going to do when I get home is to get my mom to sign it. How many dinosaurs do you think live at the museum, Timothy? Lots. <gasps> Maybe hundreds. There you go. I wish you were coming to see the dinosaurs too, Dad. I'd like that. Oh, I'd like it too, Nora. Well, we could bring Jack and Mom too. I'd like that even better. I promise we'll go see the dinosaurs again after your school trip tomorrow. Nora! Bath and bedtime, Nora. You have a big day tomorrow. Okay. Take care of it in a minute, Nora. I know you've all been learning about dinosaurs all week, so I thought we'd give this Dino Crunch cereal a try. Mom, can I please have something different? <laughs> Hurry up, Nora. You don't want to miss the bus. Coming, Dad. Here's your lunch. I put a special surprise inside. What is it? No peeking. Thanks, Dad. I love surprises. Hurry up, Nora. We're going to see the dinosaurs today. All right, everyone. Before lunch, I want everyone to buddy up for our trip to the museum. Miss Appleberry is here to help. Remember to look out for your buddy and to look out for me or Mrs. Jenkins or a security guard if you need help. But most of all, remember to have fun meeting the dinosaurs. Yeah! Okay! <laughs> hey, Nora, want to be my museum buddy? Really? I'd like that, Timothy. Thanks. Lunch boxes out and open, boys and girls. I'm going to eat my lunch as fast as I can so we can get to the dinosaurs sooner. There's a surprise in my lunch. What is it? No peeking. Wow! It's a dinosaur sandwich! Dinosaur sandwiches? Thank you! you. Mm. 
You like egg salad more than a great dinosaur sandwich, Nora? I don't like egg salad. Then why did you trade? Because I don't like dinosaurs even more than I don't like egg salad. What? But everyone loves dinosaurs. Not me. They're big and scary. And I'm very small. I really want to like them, Timothy, but... Don't worry, Nora. We'll think of something to make you feel better. Nora's frightened of dinosaurs. Frightened? Of dinosaurs? Yes. And she needs our help. I'm frightened of spiders. Will that help? Spiders can't hurt you, Doris. And neither can dinosaurs. They died a long time ago. I have an idea, Timothy. Look at this. Way to go, Yoko. Everything is going to be okay. We're here, children. Quick sticks. One, two, three, four. Oh, boy! The museum! I can't wait to go inside. Everyone find your buddy. Nine, ten. Oh, my! We're one short. Someone's missing. Where's Nora? Here she is. Come on, Nora. I really want to go, Timothy, but I'm scared. Timothy, Nora, is everything okay? It's okay, Mrs. Jenkins. If Nora wants to stay behind on the bus with Henry, then I'll stay too. But Timothy, you love dinosaurs. You should go. I'm not going if you're not going. Oh. Okay. If you promise to hold my hand. I promise. Yay! Off we go to see the dinosaurs. Wow! They're even bigger up close. Wow. I can't look. Come with me, Nora. There's someone I want you to meet. Nora, meet Megazostrodon. <gasps> that sounds big and scary. That's it? He's so little. Just like you. I'm bigger than him. He's not big and scary at all. <laughs> That's what Yoko thought, too, when she found his picture in a book. Hi, Megazostrodon. <laughs> Want to go meet some other dinosaurs? Okay. Tyrannosaurus Rex, he's as big as our house. Can we go see the dinosaurs again, Dad? Can we? My favorite's Megazostrodon. Oh, I don't know, Nora. That sounds big and scary. Lily, do you have all your things for school this morning? I think so. Got your scarf and your mittens and your pencils? Yep. And your lunchbox? <laughs> and my lunchbox. <laughs> there, that a girl. Hi, Lily. Hi, Timothy. I left a surprise in your classroom this morning. What? What is it? He won't tell us. Oh, you'll soon find out. Hello, little fish. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> there you are. This must be the surprise Henry was talking about. He's beautiful. Do you 
think we get to keep him? I hope so. Me too. Lily, you left your lunchbox on the school bus again. Oops. All right, class, settle down. I hope you've all noticed our new addition. Hey, a fish. That's right, Fritz. Henry brought it over from the library. It's closed for a month, so we've been asked to take care of it. Wow! What's its name? Goldie. Hi, Hi Goldie. Goldie! Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility. I suggest we each take turns caring for Goldie. You mean like walking it? Yeah, and giving it a bath? Um, it's a fish. All right, no bath. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? Oh, I do! I do! I will! Lily and Claude both want to go first. I suggest we take a vote. It should be Claude. Lily's forgetful. She wouldn't remember to feed him. Lily always remembers jokes and stuff. So? All right, class. Let's vote. How many of you think Claude should take care of Goldie first? And how many of you think Lily should take care of Goldie first? All right, Claude can be the first one to take care of Goldie. And Lily can be next. Did you like the little surprise I left in the classroom this morning? I guess so. Don't you like fish? I love fish. I even have a fish at home. Then why are you so unhappy? I don't get to take care of Goldie. They didn't pick me. They think I'm too forgetful. Well, if I were Goldie, I'd want you to take care of me. And I'd let you take care of all my fish friends as well. <laughs> you would? Absolutely. Thanks, Henry. You're welcome, Lily. I take care of you, don't I, Treasure? I always remember to feed you, and I never forget to clean your bowl. Oh, maybe we'd better clean your bowl today. Okay. I won't hurt you. There, there you go. Into the net. That's a girl. See? You're okay. There. Your home is all nice and clean. See? I take good care of you. I always remember the things you need. <sighs> I wish they'd picked me to take care of Goldie. Got it. Oops. Oh. <sighs> All right. Yeah. We're only two, but that will do. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You guys are beating us. The teams aren't fair. 
Hey, Claude! You want to play ball? I have more important things to do, Timothy. I'm taking care of Goldie. Oh, okay. <sighs> Okay, now your bowl is all clean, and the new water is exactly the right temperature to put you back in the bowl. Ah! Wow! Oh, hey. Gee. He's good. Yeah, he's very good. This is when his bowl will need to be cleaned again. You have to give it just the right amount of food. Not too much, and not too little. You are doing a very good job, Claude. I knew he would. And here is where the drum solo comes in. Good Fritz. And here is where the tambourine solo comes in. <laughs> Good, Nora. And finally, the recorder solo. Lily? I forgot my recorder at home. Oh, Lily. That's okay. We're done for today. Try to remember your recorder tomorrow, okay, Lily? Okay, Mrs. Jenkins. Maybe everybody's right, Treasure. Maybe I am too forgetful to take care of Goldie. Maybe I would lose him. Treasure? Treasure? <gasps> Mom! Huh? Mama! <gasps> Mama! What is it, Lily? I lost Treasure! I lost Treasure! No, you didn't. What? I thought I'd help you out by cleaning Treasure's bowl for you. Oh, but that's my job, Mama. I can take care of Treasure all by myself. Of course you can, dear. I was just trying to help. morning. <sighs> Do I have to get up now? No, you can sleep a little longer, honey. Okay, but please don't let me forget to take my recorder to school this morning, Mama. I don't have to remind you, Lily. You don't have to go to school this morning. No school? Why? Is it because I forgot my recorder yesterday? <laughs> no, dear. Look out the window. Wow! School has been canceled today. The power is out because of the snowstorm. Oh, no school! I can play all day! That's right, honey. It would be too cold for you in class. <gasps> oh, Mama! We have to go to school right away! Oh, hello. School's canceled today. Oh, we know. Lily just... Lily? I'm sorry. She said she had to get something. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> that Lily. Always forgetting something. Hey, where's Goldie? Yeah. How come he's not in his bowl? I hope he's okay. Claude was looking after him. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, dear. The power was off all night, and that water looks awfully cold. <gasps> Maybe he's... Morning! It's Goldie! <gasps> and he's okay! Yay! Yay!
Oh, Lily, how did you get Goldie? Well, Mrs. Jenkins, I found out that the power was off and I thought Goldie would be cold, so I brought him home to swim with my own fish for the night. Good thinking, Lily. Lily saved Goldie. Way to go, Lily. <laughs> Stop. I guess I should change the frozen water before we put Goldie back. Let's let Lily do it. She's good at taking care of fish. Oh, okay. Yes, that's a great idea. Lily. Huh? Mama? You forgot something, honey. This is the last bike, so it must belong to... Me! Timothy, this is new, isn't it? Yeah, it's my new Red Thunder. Wow! Timothy got a new bike! That is Timothy's bike? It's beautiful, Timothy. Nice wheels. Yeah, really nice wheels. Almost as nice as ours! I think it's even nicer than the Franks. Thanks, Charles. Good morning, children. And welcome to Bicycle Fun and Safety Day. I'm going to hand everything over to our transportation expert, Henry. Yay, Yay Henry! Henry! Thanks, Mrs. J. Now, first things first, as I like to say, let's do a little bike inspection. How about if each of you introduces your bike to us? Me first! Me first! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we'll, we'll both, both go first. first. My bike is like Frank's. My bike is like Frank's. Wheelies! Wow. I don't think wheelies are part of Bike Fun and Safety Day, boys. This is my bell. And this is my horn. And if I make them go at the same time, it sounds like this. Well, everyone will sure hear you coming. <laughs> and going. My bike has this basket, so I can help my mother carry groceries home from the store. My bike is designed for speed and distance. That's why I have this bottle attached here, so I can get to my water without even stopping. My bike is my favorite color. My mom says I'm outgrowing my bike. Soon I'll get one of my brothers. My bike is just my size. And when I turn this wheel, it turns the generator. And that sends the power to the fan on the handlebars and cools me down when I'm riding. That's a fine idea there, Fritz. And last but certainly not least is Timothy's new bike. Want to tell us about it, Timothy? This is my Red Thunder. I got it for my birthday. It's aero... aero... Aerodynamic. It means it's designed to move smoothly through the air. Yeah. And it has a new kind of seat that's really comfy. And it has a lightning bolt. Yep, you sure got yourself one nicely decked out bike. Thanks. Now, everyone bring your bikes and your helmets, and let's all go over to the safety course. All righty. Timothy, let's see what you can do on your brand new Red Thunder. Strap on your helmet there, and let's take it for a spin. Okay, Henry. All righty now, Timothy. We're going to demonstrate what to do when you come to a stop sign. Now, 
You have to stop and wait till the intersection is clear of other traffic. Got it? Got it, Henry. Good. See how Timothy used his brakes to slow down and stop? Then he looked both ways, and when he saw that there was no cars coming, he rode through. That was excellent. All righty then, Timothy. Why don't you lead the others? All righty, Henry. Terrific! I think you've done so well, you deserve a lunch break. All righty? All righty! <laughs> hmm, where should I sit? Oh, oh, sit here, Timothy. Yeah, sit with us. Sit here, Timothy. <laughs> Beside me! <laughs> or here! But you can sit here if you want, Timothy. What's going on? Even Claude's being nice to me. I think it's your new Red Thunder. You seem different. What do you mean, different? Well, bigger. All righty. Now we're going to do the obstacle course. The object is to ride through the course, obeying all signs and steering around the pylons without knocking any over. I will be scoring based on speed, accuracy, safety, and overall bikemanship. Now let's get riding! I, I think it's safe to go, Grace. Okay, Henry. Ah, uh, Nora! You don't have to ring your bell if there's nobody coming. Very good, Claude. Whoa! <laughs> that fan sure works, Fritz. Thanks, Henry. Good work, Timothy. Very nice figure eights, Yoko. Eight is my favorite number, Henry. We're done, Henry. And we got them all. I, I think you missed the point of the exercise, boys. Bike fun and safety day is over. Did everyone enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was fun. And we have our own transportation expert, Henry, to thank. Yay, Henry! Now, Henry, what are today's results? All righty. Bicycle badges for speed go to Frank and Frank. Go, go Franks, go! Wow! Bicycle badges for accuracy go to Claude and Grace. Thanks, Henry. And for all-around safety and bikemanship, a bicycle badge goes to Timothy and his new Red Thunder. Thanks, Henry. There you go, Doris. Thanks, Henry. Bye, Bye Doris. Doris. Bye. <laughs> wow! Did you see that? Yeah, that was neat. Really neat. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, 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 uh. Those boys are much bigger than you guys. Bike tricks like that are only for very experienced riders. Alrighty? Alrighty. 
Hey, Timothy, why don't you come to our place on the weekend? You can ride bikes with us. Yeah! yeah. Sure. I'll ask my parents. Hi, Timothy. See Timothy's red thunder, Dad? Nice wheels, huh? Very, Very nice, nice wheels. wheels. Hmm. Our boys are getting to be big now, aren't they? Oh, they sure are. Okay, be careful. I'll come back to pick you up later. Already, Dad. Come on, Timothy. Let's go. Time, Time to, to ride. ride. Okay, Timothy, your turn. Show us again! Go Red Thunder! It's not that hard. You just have to ride around the markers instead of through them. See? Looks like you boys can learn something from this guy. Yeah, Timothy's good. He is great! He's, He's the, the best! <laughs> now you just keep on riding safely while I uh, mow the lawn out front, okay? Okay, Dad. Dad, Dad. Try it again, Frank. Okay! <gasps> I'm tired of this game. Yeah, let's do something else. But, but what? what? Hmm. I know. Remember when we saw Doris's brothers riding over that ramp? All right! <laughs> it looks good. Who wants to go first? Me before you, me first. No, me before you, me first. Frank, I'll go first. Frank, I will go first. Frank, I'll go first. Oh, he'll go first. Now, what did I say about riding safely? You're not ready for ramps. But, Dad... It wasn't their fault. It was my idea. I thought I was big enough to do it, but I wasn't. Well, well, as long as you're all right. Timothy may be all right, but his bike is not. Don't worry, Timothy. I can fix that. That's right, Timothy. Dad can fix anything. Looks as good as new. Thank you. Told you Dad could fix it. That is the best. He sure is. Oh, boys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Dad! You ready to go home yet? Sure. Bye, Frank. Bye, Frank. Bye, Big Frank. And thanks. Bye, Bye Timothy. Timothy! Did you have fun with your red thunder? Well, it's kind of a long story, Dad. You see, first we set up this course to bike around, but the friends got kind of tired of running into things. So then I had this idea to build a ring. Supper's ready, dear. Goodness me, look at all those puzzles. Yeah. We're having a surprise puzzle day at school tomorrow, Mom. That sounds like fun. I can't wait. I love doing puzzles. <laughs> I like puzzles too, but right now it's supper time. Aw, can I just do the outside pieces, Mom? Well, 
Okay, just the outside pieces. <laughs> To Hilltop School's Surprise Puzzle Day. I practiced doing puzzles all night. So did I. Me too. I made all my flower puzzles. We made our football puzzle. Yeah, five times. Goodness me, you have been busy. Now, everyone listen carefully because I have an important announcement to make. Frank! Shh, shush. There's something special about today's surprise puzzle. What? The pieces are hidden. First, you have to find them all. It sounds like a treasure hunt. Or like an egg hunt. Where are the pieces hidden? All over the school. In the playground? That's right. In the coach room? Yes. In the classroom, in the dress-up corner, in the gym. So what's the surprise? If you put all the pieces together before lunchtime, you'll find out. This will tell us when time's up. Ooh! Wow! wow. What is it? It's called an hourglass. It tells you the time, like a clock. But... but it doesn't tick. <laughs> it's not supposed to, Frank. When all the sand goes from this end to this end, we know a whole hour has gone by. Hmm. Interesting. Now, does everyone understand what they have to do? First we find all the pieces. Then we put the puzzle together before lunchtime. Then we find out the surprise. That's right. Is everyone ready? Yes! yes. Okay. When I turn over the hourglass, the Hilltop School Surprise Puzzle Day begins. Good luck, everyone! I was going to look in the coach room. I was here first. Have you found any pieces yet? Not yet. And I've looked and looked. You won't find any like that. Why not? You're making such a mess, you'd never see them. Yes, I would. Hey, that's my jacket. There might be a piece of puzzle in it. <gasps> there isn't. How do you know? <laughs> Is anyone looking in the coat room? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Don't go up there. Why not? Because I'm going up there and I'm really good at finding pieces. So am I. Well, I found seven already. How many have you got? Two. See what I mean? Why don't you look by the swings? I tried. There's nothing there. Hey, guys. Is anyone looking in the tower? Me! Me! Hi, Yoko. Have you found any pieces yet? I found four. Have you found any, Lily? I found five. Look! Oh, no! I've lost them! <sighs> Hi, guys. Have you found any yet? I found five. But I lost them. I found eight. Did you find any in the coat room, Charles? Hey, no fair! I told you you wouldn't find any pieces if you made a mess like that. There weren't any there. But they must be in there somewhere, Doris. You find them then. All right! I found 15 pieces. How many did you find, Nora? Two. Look! The time's running out! We haven't even found the pieces yet! 
We can't find out the surprise if we don't have all the pieces! <gasps> I want the surprise! Me too! We've got to work together. What are we going to do? If we help each other, we'll find the pieces faster. I'm good at finding pieces. I'll look in the playground. I'll go with Claude. It's faster with two. I'll look in the dress-up corner, Timothy. No one's tried there. Can I come? Of course you can, Lily. Where should I look, Timothy? Try the hall. There must be lots of pieces out there. Okay. We'll look in the sandbox. No, you look inside the sandbox, and I will look outside the sandbox. Oh, great idea. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? You can help me in the coat room. I found one. Come on, everybody. Time's running out. Yay! Yay! I found one! Me too! Let's dig deeper! All right! Have you found any? Not yet. Hmm. I've got an idea. I thought so! Look under the swings! Claude, you're a genius! I know! Wow, what a mess! I'll never find anything here. <gasps> I found two! <gasps> I found three! Hey, Charles! Every time I put two shoes together, I find a piece! I found four! Five! Five? You take one quarter, I'll take the other! Ready? Ready! Wow! There's nothing here. They must be hiding somewhere, Lily. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's lift them up and see! <laughs> Quick, let's take them to Timothy! <laughs> I don't know. Nope. Let's turn the pieces over. I always put the same colors together. We got some brown ones. Huh? They're not brown. They're dirty. Oh. See? They're green. Oh, I've got green ones. I'm doing the edges. Who's doing corners? Me. We're getting there. Does anyone have blue and white pieces? I do. <gasps> Let's fit them together. Okay. What is it? It's not sky. It's not water either. I've got a chair. I've got a table. Who's got green? Me. We have a tree. What have you got, Claude? I've got, um, I've got a giant ice cream sundae! Oh. Wow. Wow. It? There must be some more pieces somewhere. We've looked everywhere in the coat room. We looked everywhere in the dress-up corner, too. And in the hallway. I look in the classroom. I'll help you. I found some. I found some too. Quick, bring them here. We'll do it. We only need a few more. It's a blue and white tablecloth. I can see a watermelon. Hi, peanut butter sandwiches. I love strawberries. Do you think that's butterscotch? There's one piece missing. Oh no. the puzzle on time! Look! We did it! Yay! We did it! Yay! Wow. 
use one giant ice cream sundae. You can say that again. Bright red balloons are my favorite. Well done, everyone. Do we get our surprise? You certainly do. Goodness me, it's almost lunchtime. But what's our surprise? <laughs> Follow me, children. Wow! Look! That's Ooh. neat! Oh, it looks delicious! Just like the puzzle! So hungry, that looks good. Congratulations! You did a wonderful job! We couldn't have done it without Timothy, Mrs. Jenkins! Nice job, Timothy! Picnic time, everyone! <laughs> Doris, it's a snow girl. Oh, it looks just like you. Thanks, Timothy. Hey, Doris, don't forget your hat and scarf. <gasps> Am I toboggan? Everything is all snowy. I see snow tracks. I see a snow plow. Ooh, I see icicles. <laughs> I see icicles. I see icicles, get it? Good one, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw snow before. Never? Uh-uh. It's always hot where we used to live. This is your first snow day? Aha! Uh -huh. It's pretty. Look, the fish pond froze over. Wow! Look at that! It's frozen! What happens to the fish? They will freeze. Yes, frozen fish sticks. <gasps> <laughs> Only the top freezes, Lily. The fish are swimming underneath. Oh, good. Hello, children. Isn't it exciting? Yeah. yeah! I like your giant snowflake, Mrs. Jenkins. Thank you, Timothy. Do you know what? No two snowflakes are ever the same. Really? That's right. Each one is different, like you. <gasps> Lily, where's your hat and scarf? Um... <coughs> oh, I forgot them on the bus. I'm not used to snow stuff. This is my first snow day. Oh, Lily, we are going to have such fun. But first, let's find you something warm to wear. Ready! Let's not forget a hat and mittens. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins. Hey! Henry's almost done making the skating rink. I brought my ice skates. I brought my toboggan. Watch out, Hilltop Hill! We're going to build a snow fort to keep out the abominable snowman. Who's that? 
A hairy giant with big feet. <gasps> yeah! He only comes out when it snows. Right. <laughs> Mrs. Jenkins, Frank and Frank are telling scary stories. Lots of people tell stories about the abominable snowman, Doris. They even have different names for him, like Bigfoot and Yeti and Sasquatch. See? But they're just stories. There's nothing to worry about. See? That looks like fun. Wait till you see it for real. <laughs> My Super Zoomer Snow Saucer can be your old toboggan any day. Race you! Any time. Nothing can beat mine. Okay, everyone. Lily knows the first rule of snow day. Dress warmly. Good remembering. Who can tell Lily the second rule of snow day? Play, Play outside. outside! That's right. Who wants to be Lily's special snow buddy? Can I be Lily's snow buddy, Mrs. Jenkins? I know all about snow. Thank you, Doris. Just remember, Lily's never seen snow before, so she's depending on you to show her what to do. You can count on me, Mrs. J. Quick sticks. Snow day is no day to spend indoors. Hats, scarves, and mittens. Everyone outside. What are you doing? I'm looking for two snowflakes that look the same. Can I look too? Okay. Thank you for helping me build my first snow girl, Doris. We can call her Lily. Wow! After we build a snow girl, we can make snow angels and throw snowballs and... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. For being my snow buddy, Doris. I like snow. Doris? Race you to the bottom. Try and catch me. Yahoo! <gasps> oh no! What happened to my snow buddy? Where's Doris? She went that way. Thanks. Wow! That was the fastest toboggan ride ever! Let's go again! What about Lily? She's okay. She's building a snow... <gasps> girl? Oh, what happened to my snow buddy? She must be playing. But this is Lily's very first snow day. She doesn't know how. She's depending on me. Look! Footprints! They aren't my footprints. And they aren't my footprints. Lily! Lily! What are you doing? We're looking for two snowflakes that look the same. Can I play? It's very difficult. Oh! Or we can make snow angels. Okay. Only, I don't know how. It's easy. I'm making snow angels. I'm making snow angels. I wish Doris was here. Do you want to help me finish a snow girl? Doris was helping me, but I lost her. Oh, boy. A snow girl. Let's go. <laughs> Where is Lily? Look! Snow angels! And one is Lily-shaped. It looks like Lily is having fun, Doris. See? She found two friends. I'm supposed to be your snow buddy. 
Wait till I tell Doris I made snow angels. Get him! Ah! Watch out! <laughs> no ball fight! Here comes a big one. Let's <laughs> get him! Miss me! <laughs> Good throwing, Lily. Want to play in our snow fort? Want to help me build a snow girl first? Okay. Okay. Wow, it looks like we missed a good snowball fight. Lily doesn't know how to snowball fight. I hope she didn't get hit by a snowball. Where are you going? We're going to build the best snow girl ever. Can I come too? Okay. Wow, it is the best snow girl ever. It's not right. Go, Lily. Ooh, now I'm cold. <laughs> we can fix that. I'm going to have to say a big sorry to Lily. Whose footprints are those? They're too big to be kid tracks. Or Henry tracks. Or, or Mrs. Jenkins tracks. Who has such big feet? <gasps> the abominable snowman. I don't think so, Doris. Look! There's Lily over there. Lily? Hey! A snow girl! The abominable snowman turned Lily into a snow girl? I don't think so, Doris. But we better tell Mrs. Jenkins we've looked for Lily everywhere. And then the abominable snowman turned Lily into a snow girl. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jenkins. I let Lily down. You did the right thing telling me, Doris. But there's nothing to worry about. Lily's right here. Lily! Hey, buddy! <laughs> Where did you go? I made snow angels and threw snowballs and built a snow girl, just like you said. I really like Snow Day. Can you show me more? But you've already done everything. Well, there is one thing Lily hasn't done yet. <laughs> Would you like something to eat, children? Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Mama. I'm starving. Me too. Oh. Mm, uh, Mama, Timothy doesn't like raisins. I will get you some cookies without raisins, Timothy. Do you like chocolate chips? Yes, please. I'm so glad you're my best friend. Me too. Here are your cookies, Timothy. Thanks. Yoko, you have another visitor. Hi, Grace. Grace? Hi, Timothy. Yoko, it's time for our dance class. <gasps> Don't you have dance on Saturday? Yes, but I forgot we have an extra practice today because we have a recital on Friday. <laughs> Does that mean we can't play anymore? Not today. I have to go. Timothy, I can take you home after I take the girls to rehearsal. Would you like to bring those cookies with you? Okay. Thanks. Oh, 
It's Tuesday. Yoko always comes over to play on Tuesday after school. I want to make sure that the games are set up just right. Yoko loves checkers. I can't wait for you to come over. I set up checkers and puzzles and... But I can't play with you this afternoon, Timothy. What? I have to go to dance class again. But it's Tuesday. I'm sorry. I have to practice for the recital. Come on, Yoko. Let's practice our steps. Okay. Oh, bye, Timothy. Yeah, bye. <sighs> Hey, Fritz, you want to come over this afternoon? Sorry, I can't. I'm going over to Nora's. Oh. Wow! Cool racket. Yeah, cool. You want to play? Tennis? We have never played tennis. Don't worry. It'll be me against you two, so the team should be even. Great! <laughs> <laughs> Come in. I brought you both some cookies. Oh, you're all alone. Where's Yoko? Oh, she doesn't like me anymore. She found something better to do. What's she doing? She has to practice for a special dance recital. Oh, Yoko still likes you, honey. She's just busy, that's all. Really? Of course. Would you like to invite one of your other friends over to play? I tried that. But Fritz was playing with Nora, and Frank and Frank were playing with Claude. What about Charles? Oh, yeah, Charles. I'll invite him over to play tomorrow. Thanks, Mom. You're very welcome. Hello? Of course, Yoko. I'll get him. Timothy, it's for you. Thank you. It's Yoko. Hi, Yoko. Hi. Can you meet me after school tomorrow? There's something special I want to give you. Sure. Okay, bye. That was Yoko. She's coming over to play tomorrow. What about Charles? I'll invite Charles over another time. Bye, Mom. invitation to my dance recital on Friday. I hope you'll come. Thanks. I'll come for sure. Good. Bye, Timothy. Huh? Where are you going? I thought we were going to play together. You did? You said you wanted to meet me after school today. Yes, so I could give you this. You mean you're not coming over? Sorry, Timothy. Come on, Yoko. My mom is going to take us to dance rehearsal. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Mom. Hi. Where's Yoko? She had to go to dance class again. Oh. <sighs> Mom, do you want to play checkers? I'd love to, honey, but I have to make dinner. That's what I thought. <laughs> that was so 
ended up facing me by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, do you want to come over this afternoon? Yeah, sure. We can play pilots and parachutes. Yeah! Timothy, rehearsal is canceled this afternoon, and I was wondering if you wanted to come over. Sorry, Yoko. I'm playing with Charles this afternoon. Oh. Maybe another time. Sure. Prepare to jump. Roger. Okay, now. Whee! Good landing, parachuter. <laughs> that was fun. Now you be the pilot so I can jump. Roger, 10-4. Charles, look, Timothy, it's like the plane we were flying yesterday. Wow, it even has special landing gear so it can land on the water. And my boat can pick the passengers up. All aboard! <laughs> Quick sticks, recess is over. Do you want to play again this afternoon? Sure. Goodbye, children. Thank you for a wonderful day. Yay! Bye! <laughs> See ya! Bye! <laughs> Timothy, I don't have to be at the recital hall until later. Do you want to come over this afternoon? Oh, I'm sorry, Yoko. I'm going over to Charles's to play. Um, your recital is going to be great tonight. I can't wait. Me too. Hey, Timothy, my dad has a pair of headphones that we can use for the plane's radio. Perfect! This is the control tower. You are cleared for takeoff on runway number two. Roger, control tower. I thought you two pilots might be hungry. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Huh? Thanks, Mom. Thank you, but I'm not that hungry. Oh, that's okay. Don't you like cookies? I like cookies. I just don't like raisins. Oh, I didn't know. Look, Mom, there's Yoko. She did it. They did it. Yay, Yoko. Yoko was great, wasn't she, Mom? She sure was, dear. Timothy! Excuse me? Timothy! Yoko! Wow! You were great, Yoko! I'm so happy you came. These are for you. Thank you. I missed you this week. I missed you, too. <laughs> Yoko? There's my mama. You want to come over for some cookies? Cookies without raisins? 
Sure. Here we are, my little cherry blossom. Ooh. Thanks, Mama. Timothy, the bus is here. Coming, Dad. Timothy. Don't forget your lunch, dear. Thanks, Mom. Bye, Dad. Have a great day, Timothy. Remember to use sunscreen. Okay. Hi, Henry. Hi, Timothy. All right, everyone. Who can tell me what we call Monday in summertime? Yes, Timothy? Swim day! That's right. Swim day is when we stop at Hilltop Park for a swim. And look who's here to help out. Miss Alberry! Good morning, boys and girls. I go to jump in the deep end. No splashing. But... You cannot help it on the water slide. Oh, great. Aren't you coming swimming, Claude? Um, not today. I have the sniffles. Poor Claude. Quick sticks, children. I'm right behind you. I'll race you. Next one there. Slow down. No running, Frank. Play safely. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's try it backwards. Yeah! It's <laughs> cold! Hey, Yoko, watch this! Good jumping, Timothy! Timothy is the best swimmer! <laughs> Thanks, Doris! Well done, Nora! Good swimming! Way to go, Nora! Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Fritz? Okay, I got a red wiggler. <gasps> Mrs. Jenkins? Don't worry, Grace. There are no wigglers in the kiddie pool. Aww. Hey, what are you doing, Charles? Watching clouds. It's fun. Hey, that cloud looks like a cowboy hat. Wow, apple pie. My favorite. <laughs> it's Henry. <laughs> What's that cloud? Cannonball! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! <whistles> Quick sticks, children. Time to get out. Remember behind your ears. Who can tell me what comes after a swim? Ice cream! There's nothing like soft ice cream on a hot summer day. Mm, sorry you couldn't come swimming, Claude. It was fun. It's okay, Timothy. You can swim next time. We'll see. Come 
morning swimming, Clyde? Not today. I have a sunburn. Are you coming swimming today, Clyde? Um, no. I got something in my ear. I don't think Claude likes swimming. Sure he does. It's the best thing about summertime. Maybe he doesn't know how. <laughs> don't be silly. Claude's good at everything. <laughs> Why don't you come swimming, Claude? I told you, Timothy, I have allergies. No, you said it was something in your ear. It's too cold. Don't you like swim day? <sighs> Promise not to tell? Promise. I'm not good at swimming. What? But you're good at everything. Not swimming. I'm not good at it. It's easy. Easy for you. You're a good swimmer. I can teach you to kick and paddle. Well, only if you don't tell anybody. Okay. I'm good at secrets. Okay, boys and girls. Let's draw pictures about what we're going to do on our summer vacation. We're helping Big Frank pump gas at the garage. I'm going camping. We're going to sleep in a tent. Oh, wow. A tent? Oh, Outside. <gasps> does getting a library card count? It sure does. I'm getting a library card! Mama's planting a garden. I'm going to grow vegetables. What are you doing this summer, Mrs. Jenkins? I'm going hiking. Oh, wow. wow! What are you doing this summer, Timothy? I'm going to visit my best friend, Yoko, every day. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Timothy, what were you talking to Claude about at recess? It's a secret. Oh, okay. <sighs> Do I have to? That's right. Okay. The first thing to learn is kicking. How about we take it outside next time? <laughs> okay. Thanks for the swimming lesson, Timothy. That's just the beginning. Same time tomorrow. Okay. I'm really proud of you helping Claude out like this, Timothy. Thanks, Dad. I'm not going in there. All you have to do is put your head in the water. No! You've got to get your head wet if you want to swim, Claude. No way. Try blowing bubbles. Maybe Claude can practice kicking some more. I can do that. Hey, Timothy! Oh, look. There's Doris and her mom. Oh, no! <gasps> hi, Timothy. Oh, um, hi, Doris. <gasps> you did it! You put your head underwater. Way to go, Claude. These are all wonderful pictures. What fun we're all going to have this summer. Look, Timothy.
loves swimming. He must be taking lessons. Yeah, he's pretty good. Although he doesn't like getting his head wet. Huh? Teacher, Claude. The best. Here, Timothy, use my towel. Thanks, Claude. Get this. Oh, that was close. <coughs> Hello, Timothy. Hi, Yoko. Its back is black. And its head, too. It has an orangey red neck and a tail with two points. Hmm. Let me see. Here it is, class. Just as Yoko described. A barn swallow. Yes, Lily? How do you know so much about birds, Mrs. Jenkins? Well, I guess it's because I like them so much. And when you like something, you want to know all about it. All of you know a lot about some things, special things, that the rest of us don't know anything about. Really? Yes, Frank. So I want each of you to think of something special that you know. Starting tomorrow, you're going to teach the rest of us about it. And now... It's snack time! What are you going to teach? Um... I'm going to teach some ballet, of course. One of my new steps will be perfect. Well, I'm going to teach something that I'm sure no one else will know how to do. Hmm, like the saxophone? Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Charles, do you know what you're going to teach? I'm going to teach Everyone had to draw cartoon faces. What are you going to teach? I haven't decided yet. What about football? No, Frank and Frank know everything about it already. They taught me. Hello, Timothy. What are you going to teach, Yoko? Origami. What's that? You remember the paper folding Mama does. I can do it too. 
What about you? What are you going to teach? Maybe I'll do paper folding too. Airplanes. I'm good at making paper airplanes. I make them at home. <sighs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> How do you teach electricity, Fritz? It's a secret. Oh. Recess, everyone. Are we playing ball tag again? I, I am. am. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy, what are you going to teach? Um, well... But if it's a secret, don't tell me. It's better when it's a surprise. Really? I think so. Don't you? Yeah, I guess. Let's go, okay? Is everything okay, Timothy? Well, I still haven't thought of anything special that only I know. You'll think of something. I know you will. Thanks, Mrs. J. First, I'm going to teach the through the legs hike like this. Ah. And then I am going to teach how to punt the ball. Great! Wow! Wow! <sighs> All right. Our day is over, children. But before you go, have you all thought of something special that you can teach the rest of the class? Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Jenkins. Jenkins. Wonderful. Then for the next three days, each of you will teach the class. I would like Fritz, Nora, Timothy, and Grace to teach the first day. Then Lily, Frank, Frank, and Claude will teach the second day. Mrs. Jenkins? Yes, Timothy? Um, do you think I could teach the last day instead of going the first day? Well, uh, what is it, Yoko? I will teach the first day, Mrs. Jenkins. That would be fine, Yoko. <sighs> and now it's time to go. Timothy, Fritz told me you thought of something to teach. And I know it's a secret, so you don't have to tell me what it is, because... Yoko? I can't tell you because I haven't thought of anything to teach yet. That's a secret. Oh. The bus is coming. Timothy? Mom, can Charles come over after school? Sure, I think that would be fun. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is called static electricity. It'll give you a little shock when you touch your partner's finger. <laughs> wow. 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 wow! How did everyone else do? Look at mine, Yoko! Oh, Nora! Your puppy is wonderful! Thanks! This is called a pirouette. I'll do another one. Remember, on one foot. Whoa. Now, you try. <gasps> hey, that was pretty good, Frank. Wasn't it, Grace? Huh? Uh, it's a start. Wheels 
are stuck. We're going to have to walk the rest of the way. <laughs> Is it safe? What about the avalanche? Ah! We need some kind of boulders or something. Hmm, I've got a good idea. Wow, Timothy, these are great marbles. Look at this one. And there are so many. What do you do with them all? I play games and shoot them and stuff. Charles, your mom's here. Okay. I guess I got to go now. We can play with the marbles another time, Charles. Okay? Okay, thanks, Timothy. See you tomorrow. Bye. Timothy, where are you? <laughs> Here I am, Mom. <laughs> So, what did the kids teach at school today? Hmm, Fritz taught electricity, Yogo taught origami, and Grace, she taught some ballet stuff. Really? Yeah. Mom, I still haven't thought of anything to teach. Can you think of anything? Well, I'm sure you'll think of something all on your own. You think so? I've only got one more day. Hey, Mom. Catch! <laughs> Timothy! <laughs> Bye! Where are you going, Timothy? The bus is coming. I'm bringing my marbles to school to show Charles. That's okay, isn't it, Mom? Yes, it's okay. Now hurry, dear. <laughs> Claude, that was great fun. Now, I know Lily has a magic trick that she's very excited about. Don't you, Lily? Aha! Uh -huh. The first trick I'll teach you is how to make this button disappear. It's just a button. the secret? Double-sided tape. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Recess, everyone. Oh, not even close. Still a bit too hard, Charles. Don't bring your thumb back as far. Great shot, Timothy. What are you doing? We're playing sticker. It's a marble game. Charles is using his shooter to try to hit the bigger marble, which is called the sticker. The first to hit the sticker wins all the marbles. So go again, Charles. Yay! Yay! You're a good shot, Charles. Thanks. Timothy showed me. Will you show me too? Yes. Show, show us, us too. too. Okay. Everybody pick up a marble. Yes, teacher. Hey. I am teaching, aren't I? Now put the marble in your hand like this. Hey, what are you doing? Timothy's teaching us how to play marbles. Oh, yeah? Teach me! Yeah, teach me too. But me first. Hey! Uh, hey! Uh, me before you! Me first! Me before you! <laughs> <laughs> You're it. Now you're it. Beep, now beep, you are beep, it. Beep. That's good, Nora. Ready to dump? Ready to dump. Do you have any vibes? Go fish. 
Oh, no. You have any eight? Yes. You win again, Charles. This looks good and flat. You're right, Grace. This will be perfect. <laughs> perfect. What are you doing, Doris? It's called dribbling. My brothers taught me how to do it. Neat, huh? Yeah. Can you teach me? Sure. Give it a try. Whoa. <sighs> it just takes practice. Try again. <gasps> hey, who wants to play soccer? Hi, Sue. Yeah, let's play. Okay. I'm in. Me too. <gasps> Can I play too? Sure, Charles. I think I'll keep playing in the sandbox. Can I play with you, Nora? Sure. Me too. We'll make a sand castle. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ah! <laughs> Over to me, Timothy. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> wow! Oh, Ray. Wow! That was a great kick, Doris. Oops. I think it was a little too great. I can get it if you give me a boost. Okay, Timothy, I'll boost you. <laughs> hey, you should see the view from up here. It'd be a great place for a tree fort. That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Let's build it right now. Yeah. yeah. It can be our clubhouse. Yeah. yeah. Let's make it a boys only club. Yeah! yeah! Hey! Huh? huh? Boys only? Yeah, it'll be fun. What do you think, Doris? <gasps> what? They're building a tree fort for boys <gasps> only. Boys only? <gasps> It's not fair. Why would they do that? It's not fair. Mrs. Jenkins? What is it, Doris? The boys are building a tree fort, and they say it's for boys only. Oh, well, here at Hilltop School, we let everyone play. That's what I thought. We can play without the boys. We'll start our own club. A sandcastle club, just for girls. Come on, Doris. Okay. Okay. Me before you, me first. Ugh. Me before you, me first. Hey, hey we'll, we'll both, both go first. first. <clears throat> okay, I've got a plan for the fort. Wow, that's neat all. We found some wood. And here's how we'll get it up there. What a team! I said a boys club would be fun. We're the boys. And we rule. Hey, listen. We're the boys of Hilltop School. We're the boys and we rule. We're, We're the, the boys, boys of Hilltop, Hilltop School. School. We're, We're the, the boys, boys and we rule! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the best sand castle ever. It's going to be the most beautiful sand castle. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And it's going to be the biggest. Where should this go? Whoa! <laughs> I think it should go right there. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with girls is fun. Yeah, who needs boys? Hmm. Girls are smart. Girls are fun. Hilltop girls are number one. Girls are smart. Girls are fun. Hilltop girls are number one. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what do you see? I do not see anything. All clear up here. Ready yet, Fritz? Almost. Okay, ready. It's just the way you planned it. Of course. We're the boys. We're the boys of Hilltop School. We're the boys and we rule. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need one more side over here now. Here comes the dump truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. And here comes another bucket full of sand. I know what it needs. A flag. The boys never made a sand castle like this. Never. That's because we're the girls. Girls are smart. Girls are fun. Hilltop girls are number one! <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, how's the tree fort? Great, Mrs. J, and it's just for boys. We don't care, because we're having our own fun. And it's just for girls. Well, as long as you're all having fun this way... Girls are smart! Girls are fun! Hilltop girls are number one! We're the boys of Hilltop School! We're the boys and we rule! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doris! Show me how you do that dribbling trick again. But we're in different clubs. Oh, yeah. Come on, Timothy. Come with the I'm coming! Wait for me! Anything to report, Lookout Frank? No! Anything to report, Lookout Frank? No! When the Franks look out... Look out! <laughs> Everyone's accounted for. Okay, men. Now that the fort is safe, we can keep playing. What do you want to play? I don't know. What do you want to play? Um, tree fort. Uh, sure. Let's play tree fort. Okay. Sure. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where should I put this? I don't know. I think it's done. No more sand? It's just perfect. So now what do we do? Just look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, sure. it's nice. <laughs> Bye, Bye Doris. Doris. See you tomorrow at the Sandcastle Club. Bye. Hey, Morris, pass it to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, neat <laughs> trick. You see anything? No. You see anything? No. You want to be lookouts anymore? No. Do you? No. Here we come! Look, Look out! Anyone want to play dump truck? In a tree fort? Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Play go fish. You can't play go fish in a sand castle. <sighs> oh yeah. <sighs> oh come on, let's let's go go the go the bell. Oh, there's a bell. I thought it would let's never go. come. Doris, I have an idea. Me too. What if we don't do this way? And always do Yeah, I'll meet your recess. Okay. Ready? 
Ready, Doris? Ready, Timothy. Okay. Let's play tree fort. But Timothy isn't here. Yeah. Where's Timothy? Okay, girls. Let's play sandcastle. But Doris isn't here. Yeah. Where's Doris? Hey, there's Timothy. I see Timothy. He's with Doris. Hey, there's Doris. She's with Timothy. <laughs> hey, Timothy. How come you aren't playing tree fort? Doris is teaching me how to do this neat trick. Look. Doris! Don't you want to play sand castle anymore? Not right now. Timothy and I are playing soccer. Do you want to play go fish? Okay. Did you see the ladder I made for the tree fort? Does it make noise? I haven't found a way to do that yet. I could help. Okay. You want to play jack squad? Sure. Let's find a good place. Tag, you're it. Tag, you're it. No, no you're, you're it. it. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably excited about going to live at Hilltop School. Yeah, we get to spend the whole day together. It's very good of Mrs. Jenkins to give Norman a new home. He's certainly getting too big for his old one. Yeah, Mrs. Jenkins is the greatest. Here we go. Big breakfast for a big day. Thanks, Dad! I wish I could come see you boys in the spotlight. <laughs> I see you've got your race cars ready. Yeah, my race car is fast. <laughs> Mine is faster. You know who likes race cars, Frank? Mrs. Jenkins. Mrs. Jenkins is the greatest. Thank you for helping make breakfast, Timothy. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa. Sure you can handle all that sport? Uh-huh. Mrs. Jenkins says a big breakfast stops sleepy heads. That's right. <laughs> I like Mrs. Jenkins. She's the greatest. Mrs. <gasps> Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Appleberry, why are you here? Are we going to the museum? Is it games day? It's none of those things. I'm your substitute teacher today. Huh? Come inside and I'll explain. Where's Mrs. Jenkins? Mrs. Jenkins won't be here today. Where is she? She's at home. She fell down and hurt her arm. <gasps> is it broken? No. The only thing that got broken was the bird feeder she knocked when she fell down. Poor Mrs. Jenkins. When will we see her again? Tomorrow. We're all invited to visit Mrs. Jenkins at her home. But what about Norman? And our turn? In the spotlight? Don't you worry. Mrs. Jenkins told me all about it. We're going to have a great time together. Miss Appleberry, I'm going to make Mrs. Jenkins a Get Well Soon card. That's a wonderful idea. Let's all make a Get Well card for Mrs. Jenkins. Aren't we going to sing the welcome song? We always sing the welcome song. Sure we are. Thanks for reminding me, Yoko.
What's on your card, Timothy? It's everyone waving and saying come back soon. You forgot Miss Appleberry. Well, it's not finished. What's your card, Lily? I'm drawing a get well bird. Mrs. Jenkins likes birds. I'm going to draw a bird, too. Me, too. I know. Let's make a great big card together. Sure. Okay. Aren't you making Mrs. Jenkins a get well card, Fritz? Nope. Why aren't you making a card, Fritz? Don't you like Mrs. Jenkins? Yeah, I'm making something else. Hello, Norman. Do you like your new home? He likes it. Thanks, Miss Appleberry. You do it. Oh, you do it. Paper cups, please, Frank and Frank. Uh -huh. But Mrs. Jenkins lets us. Yeah, she does. I don't think so. Dear Frank and Frank, please listen to Miss Appleberry while I'm away. And no drinking from the faucet. Signed, Mrs. Jenkins. Whoa! She is magic. Can I have that? Only if you bring it back. Okay. Aren't you going to make Mrs. Jenkins a card, Fritz? Nope. I have a different idea. Time for recess. I like Miss Appleberry. She lets me help. Poor Mrs. Jenkins. Her mama should tell her to be more careful. <laughs> Mrs. Jenkins' mom doesn't tell her what to do. My Grammy tells mama what to do all the time. What's Fritz doing? Hey, what are you doing, Fritz? I'm collecting worms for Mrs. Jenkins. What? Huh? Better, you give them a get well soon card. Not worms! Maybe Fritz doesn't know that. You can't give Mrs. Jenkins worms. She won't like it. Are you gonna eat that? You want this? Thanks, Grace. Are you gonna eat that, Timothy? You want this? Okay. I like crusts, but I've got a cookie. Wow. Thanks, Nora. What are you doing now? I'm collecting leftovers for Mrs. Jenkins. Uh, Mrs. Jenkins does not like leftovers. <gasps> Miss Apple. Thank you, Yoko. I know. <laughs> it's time for In the Spotlight. Ready, Frank and Frank? Ready, Miss Appleberry! Ready! <laughs> Everyone, it's time for In the Spotlight. <laughs> you go. No, you go. Okay, Big Fan took us to the speedway. It went like this. <laughs> 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 When they wave the checkered flag, it's over. The winner wins a prize and gets to spray everyone. Thank you, Frank and Frank, for a wonderful In the Spotlight. <laughs> Goodbye, children. Bye. Don't forget about our trip to see Mrs. Bye. Jenkins tomorrow. Hey, where's Fritz? <laughs> What's he doing now? I was looking for bugs for Mrs. Jenkins. Bugs and leftovers are not going to help Mrs. Jenkins get well. 
bugs and leftovers and worms. She won't like it. It <gasps> moved! Ew! Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. How was school? Okay. Miss Appleberry was our teacher today. I know. I heard that Mrs. Jenkins hurt her arm. Everyone made Mrs. Jenkins a get well soon card, but I didn't want to. Fritz, how do you feel about Mrs. Jenkins being away from school? Miss Appleberry's fun, but I kind of miss Mrs. J. So why didn't you want to make her a card? I wanted to make something different. Oh, that's my Fritz. So, what's in the bag? Bugs and leftovers and worms? Oh, Fritz. She'll love it. I hope my get well card helps Mrs. Jenkins feel better. My mom says Mrs. Jenkins needs plenty of rest, and I don't think she needs to see a bag of worms. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to my home. Hello, Mrs. Jenkins. Great sling. <laughs> Quick sticks. Let's go inside. <laughs> Get well soon, Mrs. Jenkins. Thank you, Nora. I see Norman likes his new home. Get well soon, Mrs. Jenkins. Yes, I, I hope you soon will get well. Thank you, Frank and Frank. This will help me make a speedy recovery. <laughs> Get, Get well, well soon, soon, Mrs. Jenkins. Jenkins. Oh, my. Thank you, girls. You know I like birds. It was Lily's idea. Get well soon, Mrs. Jenkins. Thanks. Get well soon. Thank you. Get well soon, Mrs. Jenkins. Oh, my. There's Miss Appleberry. We like Miss Appleberry. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you all. Get well soon, Mrs. Jenkins. What's this? I made you something different. It's mostly bugs and leftovers and worms. Thank you, Fritz. I love it. What? You do? This is just the thing I need to make me feel better. Oh, Fritz made a bird feeder. Now I can look at my birds along with all my wonderful cards. Oh, who can tell me what that bird is called? I know, I know, I know that bird. Watch yourself there, Timothy. Sorry, Henry. I'm playing hide-and-seek with Charles, and I can't find him anywhere. Charles, yeah, Charles, yeah, right. Uh, which one is he again? Oh, you know. Yeah, a, a big guy, right? Um, <laughs> no, I haven't seen him, no. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. All righty, Charles. Thanks, Henry. Yeah, <gasps> woo-hoo! <laughs> 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 Ballet slippers are great for dancing on your toes, but my favorite dance shoes are Irish dance shoes. 
This is me winning a prize at the Irish Cayley. I love to dance and I'm really quite good at it. Thank you, Grace, for a wonderful In the Spotlight. And there's more to come. Next time, it will be Charles's turn. What's your In the Spotlight, Charles? Is it, is it race cars? <laughs> Are you going to sing? Um, it's a surprise. How exciting. Everyone loves surprises. do in the spotlight. Well, that's great. Only, I don't know what to do. Well, what do you want to do? Hide. You know what might help? Choose something you really like to talk about. Really? Yes, really. I really like my dump truck. Hmm. I really like my dad. And I really, really like leaves. Leaves are very interesting. Yes, they are. Hi, Charles. Hi, Timothy. This is an oak leaf. This is a maple leaf. You know a lot about leaves, Charles. I really like them. Really? Really, really. Are leaves your in the spotlight surprise? Uh-huh. Hi, Charles. What's your spotlight surprise? Tell us! Tell us! Yeah, tell, tell us! us. Leaves! Oh, good trick, Timothy. Yeah! You said it without moving your mouth. <laughs> 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 Help yourself! Thanks, Henry! Big maple leaf. Small maple leaf. Big yellow leaf. Small red maple leaf. Oak leaf. New pile! Good sorting, Charles. Are you ready for In the Spotlight? Not yet, Mrs. Jenkins. Okay. What are you doing? Waiting. Oh, can I wait with you? Sure. I was good at talking in front of everybody like Timothy. Well, you're good at different things, like waiting. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hey! Are we done waiting? Charles, ready for the spotlight? I'm not ready yet. I need more leaves. <gasps> oh! Ah! Hey! Hey, 
Hey, kiddo. How was school today? Okay. Is that for in the spotlight? Uh-huh. It looks like you're ready. You must have enough leaves for in the spotlight by now, Charles. I don't want to do in the spotlight. Why not? You really, really like leaves. I'm not good at talking in front of everybody like you are, Timothy. In the spotlight is scary. Mrs. Jenkins says scary things get easier if you practice. You can do it, Charles. Um, I like leaves because... Be because... Yes? <gasps> Come on, Charles. You nearly had it that time. You were doing great. Okay. I, I like these because... <laughs> um... Looking at me. Okay, I'm not looking. Try it again. I I like leaves because. <laughs> now what? You peaked. Okay, wait here. Try it now. I like leaves because they are quiet. You did it! I like leaves because they make shade. Way to go, Charles! How's it going, Timothy? It's going great. Hey, kiddo. Timothy says you're doing great. Can I listen too? <gasps> Don't worry, Charles. You know all about leaves. Yeah, but but I'm not good at talking about it in front of everybody. Hello, boys. How was practice? Charles doesn't want to talk about it. Let Charles speak for himself, Timothy. He doesn't need you speaking for him. Yes, I do. Huh? Timothy can talk for me. In the spotlight. But I don't know about leaves. I do. We can practice. Big maple. Little maple, oak, beech, birch, um, linden. Well done, Timothy. Mrs. Jenkins, I'm ready for In the Spotlight now. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it right after recess. Charles likes leaves because they are quiet. Charles likes leaves because they make shade. Charles likes leaves because there are so many different kinds. Wow! It's working! That's a... Oak leaf. That's an oak leaf. I know that one. That's a big red maple leaf. You got it! <laughs> no, you got it. Standing on my shoulders. Was it up high? All the way up on the window ledge. <gasps> way up there? I have a Japanese maple tree in my garden. I don't have one of those. I can bring you a leaf for your collection. Thanks, Yoko. I found lots of red maple leaves. You can have some. Oh, thank you. 
Maple trees are all over, not like chestnut trees. I only found a few chestnuts. You can roast chestnuts and eat them. That's right. Tell us about another leaf, Charles. Okay. This one comes from a birch tree. Birch bark makes great paper. That's the last one. Aww. 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 The thing I like best about leaves is how they dance. They dance? Uh-huh. Now, Timothy. <laughs> what a wonderful in the spotlight, Charles. Thank you. I did it! You sure did. Yeah, All right! Wow. all your shells. I got them at the beach on vacation last summer. Wow, look at the size of this one. That must have been a huge clam. Look at this one. That's from a mussel. Really? How do you know? You can tell by the dark shell. I didn't know that. Hey, let's use the shells to make a beach. Great idea. This is my favorite shell. It's amazing. Listen, you can hear the ocean. Wow! Let's put it between the other shells to protect it from the tide. Good idea. There, it's safe now. This will be the sandbar. Okay. We're going to need more shells to make the beach longer. I'll bring some more tomorrow. Perfect. It'll be the best beach ever. Yeah. Timothy. Hi, Fritz. Guess what? What? I'm moving away. What? My mom told me last night, we're moving to a new town. <gasps> Look, this is where I'm moving. There's a beach and a science museum, and my mom even said there are going to be lots of kids my age to play with. Isn't that great? Uh-huh. And my mom said my room's going to be bigger so that I can have more space to do my experiments in. And there's a park near my house, and a big tree in the backyard, and shells to make the beach. Attention, everyone. We have some special news. Fritz is going to be moving away. <gasps> what? Huh? Oh, no! Is there going to be a soccer team at Fritz's new school? Yeah, you have to have a soccer team. Well, uh... Will they have music? I, um... Can you bring your toys? Um, now, now, one at a time, children. Who's first? Doris. Where's your new school? I know where his new school is. Hilltop is here, and Fritz's new school is here. Wow. Ooh, but that's so far away. Will we get to see you? Uh, I don't know. Don't you want to go out for recess, Timothy? Not really. Is everything okay? Fritz is moving away. We'll never see each other again. Oh. He won't be my friend anymore. Hmm. You know, Timothy, there are lots of ways that you and Fritz can still be friends, even if he's not living here. Really? Of course. 
You can write him letters. You can talk on the phone. Maybe I could go and visit him. And maybe your parents will invite him to visit you. Wow. Thanks, Mrs. J. You're welcome, Timothy. Hi, Fritz. I brought more shells. We can make a longer beach. Come on, Fritz. It'll be the best beach ever. I guess if I move, we won't be able to do this anymore. But we can still write letters and talk on the phone and stuff. I could even come and visit you, and we could play on the beach. Yeah, but it won't be the same. Yeah, I know. Mrs. Jenkins? What is it, Timothy? I think Fritz is sad that he's moving away, so I want to give him something. You mean like a going away present? Yeah. Something he can take with him so he'll remember me. I think that's a wonderful idea. Perhaps you'd like to ask the other children to do that, too. Okay. And we can all give him something. That's a great idea, Timothy. Okay, but remember, it's a secret. Pass it on. But don't let Fritz know. Okay. Okay. Hey! Are you ready to play yet? Ah! Oh no! Bring a present for Fritz to remember you by. Pass it on. Okay. Everyone is bringing a present for Fritz. Pass it on. Okay. All ears, children. Fritz, each of your friends has brought you something that you can take with you to your new home. Wow! Here's a can of bacon beans so you won't forget us. Yeah! We were going to give you two cans, but uh, we kind of ate the other one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I made you a talking tube. So if you ever start missing me, you can just use this! <laughs> Thanks, Nora. I wrote a poem for you. Thanks, Grace. <clears throat> Goodbye, Fritz. A poem by Grace. Here at Hilltop School, we saw you every day. And we will never forget you, even when you move away. Bye-bye! This is from my cherry tree. Interesting. Put it in water as soon as you get to your new home. I will. Thanks, Yoko. Here. What is it? It's a ribbon to tie around your finger so that you won't forget me. I'll never forget you, Lily. I painted it just for you. Thanks, Doris. This is for you, Fred. You can keep bugs in it at your new house. Wow, that's great. Thanks, Charles. Here, it's a precise picture that I drew of Hilltop School. Thanks, Claude. It'll help me remember all of you. Here, Fritz. Timothy, it's your favorite shell. I know. I want you to have it. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. Thanks. Promise to send me a letter as soon as you get to your new home? I promise. Oh, 
miss you, Fritz. I'll miss you too, Timothy. But I'll be coming back for the holidays to visit my grandmother. Did the mailman forget to come today? No, honey. He came, but there wasn't anything for you. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. Okay. What do you think will happen next? How about you, Timothy? Um... What was the question? Timothy, is everything all right? Well, Fritz has forgotten me. What makes you say that? He didn't send me a letter. Oh, Timothy, it's only been a few days. But he promised he'd write to me as soon as he got to his new house. I'm sure he's still very busy with the move. You know, it takes a little while to settle into a new place. Really? Sure. They have to unpack all of their furniture. And toys. That's right, and toys too. Then they have to find the right place to put everything. So I'm sure that Fritz will write to you as soon as he has time. I hope so. Timothy. Our new place is great. Mom was right. There's a big tree in the backyard, and my room is huge. I found this shell on the beach near my house. It's my favorite, and I want you to have it for your collection. I miss you a lot. I can't wait to see you during the holidays. Bye for now. Your friend, Fritz. Wow! Where did you get such a marvelous shell, Timothy? From my good friend, Fritz. 